Grab a Gatorade at your local MAPCO today. Identity thieves love tax forms with personal info needed to steal your identity. That's why LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. From the Mark Spain Real Estate Studios, this is your Titans NFL Draft Station. WGFX Gallatin, Nashville. Trending now at 104.5 The Zone. It is 6 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Jay for Nashville Predators. defeated the Chicago Blackhawks last night by a score of 5-2. to two. Red snapped a two-game losing streak. They remain in fourth place in the Central Division. ESPN's Chris Lowe reports that former Michigan quarterback Joe Milton is planning to transfer to Tennessee. Nothing official has happened yet. Milton was a starter for the Wolverines in 2020, passing for over 1,000 yards in five starts, but was replaced in Michigan's final game of the season. He has three years of eligibility remaining. Alex Smith announced his NFL retirement, capping a 16-year career. Smith, who turns 37 next month, started his career as a number one overall pick, returned last season to win the Comeback Player of the Year award after missing two years due to a gruesome injury that nearly cost him his right leg. Breaking news at once on your home for the Titans and the Vols. This is 104.5 The Zone. Do I have everybody's attention now? Now it's time for Jason Martin and Ball for Life, Ramon Foster. Powered by all four seasons garage doors. Together, they are J Mart and Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. Tuesday, J Mart and Ramon. Jason Martin not with us this morning. My name is Mike Keith with Ramon Foster. Glad to have you with us. 615-737-1045 on Twitter at Jmart and Ramon. You can also watch via Zone TV on Facebook Live, Periscope, YouTube, and Twitch. We're presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. When trust matters, you can count on All Four Seasons Garage Doors in Nashville. Professional garage door installation and repair from a family-owned and operated business. Visit all four seasons garage doors.com slash Nashville to learn more. Ramon Foster, yeah. good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm ready. You're ready? I'm ready. You talked about your uh six hour power nap. I you got took a six yesterday. hour power nap. I did. <laughs> I had to be helped out of the studio yesterday at ten oh one. I needed help. You needed help. There was oxygen and a paramedic because I had uh, not done a four hour show since 1998 but uh, survived back today after fluids and rest after fluids and rest yes. i and iv electrolytes well here's what brought me back not only <laughs> your company and and that of the great jonathan schaefer but also pat Kerwood. yes nfl expert cbs sports serious nfl radio former front office man for the new york jets he will join us at 7 20 we have Pointed questions for him. You said expert, man. Oh, gosh. You got to be a bad man to be labeled an expert. Well, he's the real thing. Okay. All right. Well, if you say so, I'm with you. He is as much of the real thing as anybody out there when you mm-hmm. listen to him because of who he hangs with and who his background sort of filters through. Yeah. The fact that he was a scout, he came from front office work mm-hmm. with the Jets. He remains CBS Sports yeah. NFL expert. He's their insider off the air. Yep. And uh, really, when you listen to him talk about draft strategies and things of this sort, yeah. there's more in it from him than just, oh, so-and-so's a good player because he runs fast. Right. He knows about fit. He knows about coaching staffs. He knows what they're looking for in certain players. Uh, again, We've we've got Pat so, Kerwin on. I like I like the way you described him, and I know we're we're gonna go through the rest of our lineup. But just hearing you talk about him from your side of it, he's not a guy that was just hey, here's a job for you. He didn't walk his way to the top. I mean, he crawled his way to the top. Well, he did it. The he was a high school coach yeah. in New Jersey, and worked his way up to become an NFL scout. He was a college coach as well. Yeah. So Pat Kerwin coming up, and then our friend Charles Davis at eight twenty. And Charles Davis comes at it from a very different way. Like mm-hmm. you, he was a college football player. He yeah. worked in college athletics. The other part of Charles is he has massive connections yeah. 
throughout football. He talks to agents. He talks to former players. Mm-hmm. He, I mean, he's in with everybody. So he, he hears things from a very different perspective, which often makes his viewpoint interesting. Love and it. Because Charles Davis is a great human, people talk to him. Yeah. And yeah. people from teams talk to him. And it's why he has 19 different jobs in sports. <laughs> 19 well, different Well, think about this. He's on, I mean, yeah. He, he does Sirius XM NFL radio. I was on there with him once before. Okay. A couple times, actually. He is CBS Sports NFL analyst number two behind Tony Romo. He's on, a lot. He's on with the great Eye and Eagle. Yes. So uh, he, is, he is very big time. He's the voice of Madden. Yes. Which all of the kids love him for and know him best for, mm-hmm. which is uh, kind of an amazing thing. He's back with NFL Network doing draft coverage. He's wow. taking time out of his prep uh, to provide us with some wow. of that. So, I mean, th- this guy, I mean, he's he's connected. So Seems like a guy that never sleeps. He never sleeps. Okay. <laughs> he, never, he never sleeps. That's so, awesome, Pat man. Kerwin at 720, Charles Davis at 820. Tennessee football coach Josh Heupel at 9 o'clock. Nicely done. And Josh Heupel on to talk about the final week of spring practice for the Volunteers and how his first three months as the head coach in Knoxville has gone to this point. And then at 920, Wes Durham, former voice of the Vanderbilt Commodores. He is with ACC Network. Uh, He does the um, uh, Durham and Packers show on ACC Network. But – for our purposes, he's really joining the program to talk about his role with the, as the voice of the Falcons. The Falcons have the number four pick in the draft. This is huge. Uh, we, who, who do we have on yesterday? said the draft don't really start. Was it Sham? Yeah, Brad, Brad Sham, Sham from the Dallas Cowboys said the draft starts at, at really number four with yeah. the Atlanta Falcons. That'll be interesting to see how they're navigating this from his perspective. So I mentioned this, and I mentioned – that I thought there were several teams that the first round is going to turn upon. Yeah. And I think for the Falcons, Mm -hmm. at number four, the Falcons, because I think they may be the first team not to take a quarterback or they may take a fourth straight quarterback. (laughs) The Dolphins at six. Yeah. They traded with the Eagles. Mm -hmm. They're sitting there at six. Yep. Most people think they're there for Kyle Pitts. That's what the analysts think. Yeah. If Kyle Pitts is gone, do they get out at six? I don't think they're going to be able to get out at six unless as well, we talk to well, well, so I was going to go well. to number 10. If the Cowboys want to jump up at that point, though, too, I think the, 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 what, you, what you're saying is this. It's either Kyle Pitts is the guy that can flip this draft over. Oh, I think he can make – He's the guy. I don't think he's going any lower than six. Whomever makes the pick there, I don't think he gets by them. And and here's my point. If we get to four and Pitts is off the board and you want a quarterback, and let's say you're the Giants at 11 who are supposedly sold on Daniel Jones, so we'll take their word for it. He's a cut guy. Well, Okay, we'll say they stay at 11. Yes. Denver at nine could go to six. Because they aren't just sold on their young no. quarterback either. No. Uh, Locke. Yes. Drew Locke. Drew Locke. Yeah, they're not sold on him. Carolina at eight. Are they sold on mm, Sam Darnold? Sam Darnold. We heard they're not fully committed to the fifth-year option. I thought the initial reports were. I think they probably are. They were committed to it. I think they probably are. And this is going to be – so he's a one-year mercenary. But, but I mean, let's say – Jaguars at one go Trevor Lawrence. Yes. Zach Wilson goes two to the Jets. Let's say San Francisco takes Mac Jones at three. We're just we're playing the hypothetical game. Then the Falcons at four take Kyle Pitts. Yes. Cincinnati at five takes Panay Panay Sewell. Sewell. Or one of the young offensive line. Or they take Rashawn Slater Slater. from Northwestern. Yes, sir. But I think it's probably Sewell. Some people think Slater's a guard eventually. We'll see. Yeah. All right. So you're through five. You get to the Dolphins at six, yeah. and the Dolphins get a call from Detroit at seven mm-hmm. because Detroit wants to jump up and grab the quarterback that they want. Do they want Trey Lance? Do they want Justin, Justin Fields? Fields. Well, also Do they want to a... make sure that they get the one that they want and they don't get out jumped? The other team to watch in all of this 
is Philadelphia at 12? Because of Jalen Hurts. Do they believe that Jalen Hurts <sighs> is the long-term answer? It didn't seem like it. It it just didn't seem like it. Again, so much controversy behind them, that situation. And it's just looking at uh, Doug Peterson. Was he fired or did he, did he resign, essentially? Right. And, and now, again, you know how I know GMs like to have their own coaches and head coaches and offensive coordinators like to have their own quarterback. All right. So, we'll see. That is, that's very interesting. Right yeah, there. I can play the game. Uh, so, Atlanta at four <laughs> yeah. is where this draft turns. Miami at six. Dallas at 10 because it's Dallas. Because. Because, it's- because Jerry Jones, unless Stephen Jones stops him. Yes which he has recently, he's made some really good picks because he's going, Pop, we're not doing that. Yeah. We're not taking Johnny Manziel. <laughs> Pop, <laughs> Pop, yeah. you need – I love you. You own the team, but you need to no. go take a walk. We're yeah. not doing this. But Dallas can still get tricky. We think Dallas goes defense at 10. That's what Brad was saying yesterday. But, well, they need defense. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. That's that's so interesting because they've paid so many defensive players oh, on yeah. that team, and you're just like, where is the production? That's, again, the drama, right? Just talk about me. Again, there it is. So, Dallas at 10, and then New England at 15. Who who knows what Bill Belichick is thinking? Mm. Everybody's thinking, what if Devontae Smith falls to him or Jalen Waddle falls to him? Could could he pass up a great wide receiver? Or is there something – and this is where he comes at it at times – there may be a name that everybody's got at 28 or yeah. 30, but he just likes that player, and he says, I'm taking that player. B- because with him, I think he's recognized his system has a way to it, mm-hmm. uh, minus the quarterback because mm-hmm. Tom's in Tampa. Mm-hmm. But you see what they did this offseason. It came and got uh, – they, they came and got uh, the tight end. Oh, they got name. two. They got Jonu Smith Jonu. and Hunter Henry. Yeah, they got Jonu. And Hunter Henry. They're yeah. going back to the Aaron Hernandez. Well, they're only going to throw Ronikowski. the tight ends in the backs. Exactly. You see what they're doing? They have there. improved at wide receiver. They have, but they need one or two. They do. One more piece. So, <clears throat> again, but what, if, I, but what if he's in love with one of the pass rushers or the corners? Which is always an issue for which him, is too. Always, which is also a system thing for him, too. They always have a dynamic rusher. Very much a system thing. Yeah. He has guys That's, that fit what he specifically wants. And and the other thing, too, is he may get out at 50. He could. And and that could be an area that an Indianapolis at 21 could go to 15. Yeah. Or a Pittsburgh. Could, or, but, now, yeah. keep, now remember this. The Jets pick at two. They pick again at 23, 23 yeah. and they've got tons of capital. Yes, they now, do. I don't know that he makes a trade with the Jets because we know Belichick has a history with the Jets. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. But could, the same, yeah. can they play the game? So them at 15, Miami picks again at 18. Wow. And then the Titans are at 22. But the most interesting thing for the Titans, in my opinion, is that Indianapolis is at 21. Yes. And you know Indianapolis is going to try to game Tennessee 100%. somehow. 100%. Uh, the, I, uh, if it was me, I see Indy getting a left tackle. Because why? What did Tennessee do in this division? They got rushers. Well, and Costanzo retired. Yes, and Costanzo retired. That was the other part I didn't say before that. So I can see them. It's funny. We'll see how that works out. Yeah. The inner, what do we, inner division picks. Mm-hmm. We pick a center, guess what? We're picking a D-tackle. That's exactly you right. You get rushers, we're getting protection. That's right. That'll be very interesting to watch. All right. It's a lot of draft capital in here from New York, the Jets, Philly, Miami, all the thanks to Houston. All right, so Pat Kerwin, Charles Davis, Josh Heupel, Wes Durham on the show. But we, we're going to count on you, not just you, Ramon Foster, but you, the listeners, to yes. J-Mart and Ramon, to take part in the program. When we return, I have a question for you, and I need answers Desperately. 614, J Mart and Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. From the NFL draft to the Titans' first game and everything in between, we got you, Titans fan. Download the 104.5 The Zone app. Take us everywhere you go because our season never ends. 104.5 The Zone. Hey, it's Ramon. And just listen up real quick. I, I, I got a solution for you, and it's open door. 
This is who you need to go to when it comes to selling your home. And the thing is, if you're thinking about selling your home, again, think about selling it to Open Door. Hundreds of thousands of people have already requested their offer through Open Door, and you can too. Go to opendoor.com, answer a few quick questions about your home, complete a contact free video walkthrough, and you can get your offer in just a few steps. And if you like that offer, again, you can sell your house directly to Open Door on the app however you need to. And this is the best part about it is no do-it-yourself repairs, no prep work, no decluttering, no showings, no opening up your house to just anybody, which is okay because you're trying to sell it. Thing is, who wants to do those? You can get an offer. You can get the offer closed when you're ready, and you can do it all online. That is convenient as ever. So get your free offer at opendoor.com slash my offer. Again, it's opendoor.com slash my offer. Offer eligibility varies. And Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokers, Inc., license 02061130, and California and Open Door Brokers, LLC, and his other markets. Hey, it's Mickey Ryan. I give all American Pest Control five stars. Every team member that's ever come to my house from those guys is well-trained and professional and friendly and really helpful. They show up on time. They provide thorough treatment. And I love that if pesky critters show up in between services, all I have to do is call. All American will come back in between visits for no additional charge. I get quarterly pest control, mosquito treatments, and termite protection. It's all a great value. So go to yuckbugs.com today. Tell them Mickey sent you. Genesis Diamond's first spring sale in two years is here this weekend and they're holding nothing back. Save up to 35% store wide. Rings, earrings, bands, bracelets, all on on sale. Last year's spring extravaganza was canceled, so they're doubling up this year with bigger discounts and expanded selection. Aggressive financing. Designers are here with their entire collections all on sale. Even certified diamond engagement rings are on sale, so don't miss this. Genesis Storewide Spring Extravaganza Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Genesis Diamond Spectacular Spring Extravaganza is here this weekend. Three days of phenomenal savings storewide. You save up to 35% off Genesis already guaranteed Guaranteed best prices. Rings, pendants, earrings, bracelets, bands, and more. Plus special financing. This event was canceled last year, so we're making it bigger than ever this year. With twice the selection and double the savings. Get sale prices on all new designer jewelry and GIA certified diamonds. This Friday through Sunday only and only at Genesis Diamonds. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Unapproved credit. A reading from the Golden Oak Lending Book of Mortgage Lingo. What is Zipline? It's Golden Oak's fast and easy online mortgage tool that leaves you with more time to plan a family movie night. I get to pick the movie. And clean up the popcorn you weren't planning on sharing. Okay. At Golden Oak Lending, we speak mortgage and love translating it. Right now, rates are at a record low 1.875%. Visit goldenoaklending.com to use Zipline. NMLS 114937. 1.875% fixed. 2.913% APR. FHA 15-year mortgage with 20% equity and approved credit. Twinspire Sportsbook is live in Tennessee, and they're coming out of the starting gates with their best offer yet for new players. With one week of risk-free bets up to $1,000, Twinspires is backed by the same team as the Kentucky Derby, bringing over 140 years of excitement and wagering experience. Just download the Twinspires app using promo code FREE1000 to get started. Void where prohibited. For terms and conditions, visit Twinspires.com. Must be 21 and up and physically present in Tennessee to bet. See full terms and conditions at Twinspires.com. For help with a gambling problem, call or text the Tennessee Red Line, 1-800-889-9789. The headlines have hit the news, claiming shortages of vehicles in Middle Tennessee, not at Music City Autoplex. Their exceptional wholesale buying ability has allowed them to increase inventory to meet your needs like no other dealership. More late model, low mileage choices, more financing options, more SUVs, more trucks, more sedans. So visit Music City Autoplex today and find more of what you want in a vehicle purchase experience. See why Music City Autoplex is growing and why they are the uncommon dealership. Located at 2430 Gallatin Pike or online at musiccityautoplex.com. Mike Keith here. Most people in Nashville know Gary Ashton as the don't sell without the intel and guaranteed offer guy. What you probably don't know is that despite his accent, Gary's also 100% guaranteed Nashville. He's a guaranteed musician, a guaranteed dog lover, a guaranteed community leader, and you're guaranteed to see Gary at every Tennessee Titans game. Guaranteed offer means you can sell your house for top dollar with no cleanings or showings and give yourself up to 90 days to close. So there's plenty of time to find your next home. Guaranteed Nashville means Gary's team lives here and loves it here. They've served Nashville for over 20 years and they're passionate about helping our community. If you're thinking about a guaranteed offer, get the only one that's guaranteed Nashville from the Gary Ashton team with Remax Advantage. To request a no obligation offer, call 615 315 
301-1650 or go to GaryAshton.com today. Remember, Gary Ashton, guaranteed Nashville. Staples helps you get back to business with custom printed signs and sales materials. Now get 15% off signs, posters, or decals when you spend $75 or more. Offer ends 529-21. Exclusions apply. Limit one per customer. See store or staples.com slash signage for details. Hey, what's up? This is Will Bowling. Coming up tonight at 9 o'clock, you can catch myself. You can get Davey Shepard talking all things NSC with the Nashville Soccer Show, hitting the biggest headlines in Nashville around MLS, and much more tonight at 9 o'clock. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. Smyrna, Sam Ridley Parkway and Industrial Boulevard. We've got an accident with emergency crews on the scene. Use caution. No problems coming in on 24 or 65. No unusual delays on 440. We're running accident-free on 40 and 840. This report brought to you by Gatorade. Purchase any Gatorade product at Mapco and enter to win weekly prizes through Mapco's My Rewards app. Now through May 3rd, win a $200 Fanatics gift card or the grand prize Gatorade swag bag. Grab a Gatorade at your local Mapco today. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football. 104.5 The Zone. Oh, how long? Glad to have you with us, J. Martin Ramon. Mike Keith sitting in for Jason Martin for one more day. Six one five seven three seven one zero four five at J. Martin Ramon. So here's my question, and yes. I and I pose this to everyone who is taking part in this program, whether you like to take part via the phones at six one five seven three seven one zero four five or at J. Mart and Ramon on Twitter. Yep. And I think Jonathan Schaefer will keep us posted on how this goes. So we're seeing all the mock drafts. And my friend Jim Wyatt at TennesseeTitans.com does a beautiful thing. He takes all of the mock drafts and looks at the different players picked by the different people for the Titans at number 22. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Ramon Foster says, Elijah Moore. Like Wide it. receiver, University of Mississippi. Yeah. That's who he says. That's what I said. That's a, and, and people have different folks. So the question that I'm asking today mm-hmm. is the question that I get everywhere, and I want to know what you think. Yes. If you're making the pick for the Titans at 22, who do you take? Now, a couple of things that I want to throw at. Don't hand me, I trade down. Nah. Don't give me that. I don't, I, we're doing a show here. It's too much. I, I don't need – I got that, that that's a possibility. Yeah. We're in the moment. We're nine days out. Don't say I need more information. Uh, uh, I need to know what everybody else does. And also, don't come with Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts ain't going to be there at 22. Long gone. Let's play the smart game. So, on Twitter or on the phones, tell me who you want to see the Titans take at 22. And, and that's what I'm saying. Who you want to see them take, if you're sitting there making the pick, who you want for this franchise right now. And again, with the caveats, don't give me the trade down. Don't yeah. give me the trade up. Yeah. They're picking at 22. Mm-hmm. The people that you know are – Panay Sewell's going to be gone. He's gone. It, you, Trey uh, Lance is gone. Trey Lance. All the quarterbacks are gone. They're gone. gone. Don't, yes. Jamar Chase. Don't give me gone. that. Yeah. Give me people that – you're smart. Yes. This is yeah. a smart audience. 100%. Give, give me the people who are going to be there. So with that in mind, Ramon Foster, are you still saying Elijah Moore is the guy that you want or for the mock principle, is that the guy you just thought would be there and be best? I feel like I know he'll be there. Okay. Also, it's the thing that that you, you want a team who likes each other too, right? Mm-hmm. More than anything, like inner, inner just friction is not good. I right. saw A.J. Brown vouch for Elijah simply because he went to Ole Miss, too. And I was just like, you know what? That makes sense to me. They do need a receiver. I know Josh Reynolds is coming in also as a veteran. But I told you my thought process behind this this team drafting in this draft, the Tennessee Titans drafting in the 2021 draft, needed to be, at least in the first pick, centered around the offense. I think it's easier for a team to coach up a wide receiver than it is to coach up a DB. And they need help at both. Well, they need depth at both. You need a quality guy at both positions, okay? Christian Fulton is a guy you took on on last year. You expect to see him. Yes. You should expect to see him. 
Um, Jack Rabbit is a veteran guy that you got to bring in that can help teach up guys that he's going to do his job as best he can. But there are some young guys that come down into it. So at 22, I feel like Elijah Moore will be there. If there's a slip and there's a draft, there's a part of the draft that says, okay, this guy's taken before we're expecting. There's more talent here, which I think this draft will be there simply because it could be four straight quarterbacks depending on what Atlanta does. And if that's the case, you're going to get more skilled guys. That's, that's one more skilled guy that's pushed down the ladder. True. For that, I would say I know Elijah will be there, but if I'm picking another guy, it's Kadarius, for the Titans, Kadarius Tony. You want Kadarius Tony for the Titans? Wide receiver, Florida. Played a lot. Wide receiver, Florida. Played a lot. Understands a role. Will be a young, moldable guy when it comes to the offense. Played in the Southeastern Conference, used to the weather, um, can play in an explosive type offense the way he did at Florida. I could see that being a guy that they could try to get right there. All right, so Kadarius Tony is a is a player that a lot of people talk about with the Titans. A lot of my friends like Kadarius Tony for the Titans mm -hmm. because not only is he a dynamic wide receiver, but Kadarius Tony is kind of a gadget guy. Yes. And and I think the important things that you need to know if you don't, he's 5'11", 189. Mm -hmm. He plays bigger. He caught 70 passes this past year for the Florida Gators for 984 yards and 10 touchdowns. He also, now listen to this, mm -hmm. 19 rushes for 161 yards and a touchdown. So he averaged eight yards a rush. Yes. So the fly sweep. You can line him up at tailback. Mm -hmm. You can pitch it to him. Okay, you like that? I like that. All right. He's from Mobile, Alabama. He was a high school quarterback at Blunt, and, man, mm -hmm. he can throw the ball. Yes. He yes. says he can yes. throw the ball 80 yards. I don't know about that, <laughs> but there is tape of him throwing over 50 in a game as a wide receiver this mm -hmm. year. So you've got that. He can also run back kicks and punts. At his pro day, he ran 4-4-1. Four, four, mm -hmm. He's a guy, at this point, he's just turned 22. He, he was not a big player for the Gators until this year. Uh, 2019 played in only seven games with a shoulder injury, but he blossomed in 2020. Mm -hmm. And many people do like him, like Ramon Foster for the Titans. So yes. you're saying, if I'm picking. Yes. If I'm Ramon Foster and I'm making the choice, I'm taking Florida wide receiver Kadarius Tony at 22. I am, and the thing is, if they if they choose defensive back somewhere in the secondary, then I feel like Elijah will be there in the second. I do think you still got to shore up this this um, this wide receiver core. Adam Humphrey's gone, Corey's gone, and again, you just mentioned a whole lot of things about Kadarius Tony. Him being a kick returner, him being a punt returner, him being a guy that's dynamic. And you, you you have to think at some point with this offense, they're going to add to it. The run game is one thing. We, we could agree that that is awesome. The run game is amazing. But when it comes down to evolving this offense even more, you got to have somebody like that. And Kadarius Toney could be that guy. Again, Todd Downing is going to throw his wrinkles on this offense. I think for the betterment of this team, for just the sustainability of what they've done so far, they run through their hearing. Tannehill does his thing, and it's beautiful. A.J. will be WR number one. We know that. Oh, yeah. Okay? The tight end position, you still got to address that some. You got to build depth behind the offensive line also. But as far as uh, Todd Downing adding his touches to this offense, I can see him doing gadget things. I can see him doing a okay. little bit more with the ball, with the opportunity, more Kansas City-like. All right. So, Ramon Foster wants Kadarius Tony at 22. John in Murfreesboro calling in at 615-737-1045. We're also taking your thoughts uh, via Twitter at Jmart and Ramon. John, welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, so, I would take Elijah Moore. And the reason being is that as a lifelong Saints fan, long before Tennessee even ever had the Titans, I've seen just how good a team can be with a great offense and a middle ground defense. A great off in this league, a great offense can make up for a middle ground defense. I think you've got to shore that offense up just as much as you can. Uh, there are also two other players that I would look at in later rounds, um, both who their stock only dropped because they sat out because of the pandemic. 
uh, Kenny Gainwell out of Memphis and DeMonte Coxie out of Memphis, both a uh, running back and a wide receiver. Gainwell's an interesting yes, player. Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, he, he is a really good prospect that I think a lot of people are excited about due to the fact that, like Gibson, who came out and yeah. went to Washington last year and was productive, Gainwell was a productive player. Not a big player, though. And mm -hmm. the Titans already have one of those, I think, in Darrington Evans. And, yeah. they, and they invested a third-round pick in that a year ago. So – I don't know that they are going there. Yeah. It, it, no, I, don't, I, I I can't see them going Kenneth Gainwell. By the way, watching him play, I was just like, Memphis got a guy like this. You know, but Memphis also has been putting guys in the league for about the last three, four, five years. Oh, and you're yeah. just like, they have a, a, a very stable program right now when it comes down to their skill set. All right, so let me talk about Elijah Moore because I know some of you listening don't know, and that's why I ran down the Kadarius Tony bio just a little bit. Yeah. Elijah Moore, 5'9", 178, wide receiver, Ole Miss. He's out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He's a first-team All-America selection last year. Get this, eight games, mm -hmm. 86 catches. So he averaged 11 catches a game. Touches, man. 1,193 yards. He averaged nearly 150 yards per game receiving. Wow. Against Vanderbilt, 238 yards receiving three touchdowns. Against South Carolina, 225 yards and two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Against Florida, 227 yards receiving. He also caught 67 passes for 850 yards in 2019. And as a freshman, 36 catches, 398 yards Two touchdowns. So productive as a freshman. Yeah. He's just turned 21 last month. He ran four three five at his pro day. He can get it. Also threw a pass last year, too. Yes, he did. <laughs> so you got these guys, these wide receivers that are versatile. All right. They they might not be big bodies, but they make plays, man. And that's what that is a beautiful place to be at. All right. So the the early picks. You know, you're looking at Ramon Foster, who says he wants Kadarius Tony. John in Murfreesboro says he wants Elijah Moore from Ole Miss, mm -hmm. and th that's a, that's an interesting one. There, yeah. there is no doubt about it, and I think there's a real chance he's going to be there. Another one that people like on Twitter at Jmart and Ramon for the program is Terrence Moo Marshall. Terrence Moo Marshall. And let me talk to you about him for just a second. Wide receiver, Louisiana State University, 6'3", mm -hmm. 203 pounds. Played seven games this past year, 48 catches, 731 yards, 10 touchdowns. He was the consensus number one prospect coming out of Bossier City, Louisiana in 2017. Caught only 12 passes as a freshman in 2018, 46 catches, and 13 touchdowns in 12 games as a sophomore. He ran 4-3-8 at his pro day. Uh, wow. He's yeah. had, in his career, a pinky toe surgery in September of 2019. Fractured his um, – he had a, a small fibula fracture on the outside – yeah, he had a small fracture of his left foot. I typed yeah. this wrong in 2017. Uh, by the way, one of the great heroes of modern day NFL uh, times is Joe Delaney, mm -hmm. who dived in uh, water and saved some children. Yeah, had just played for the Kansas City Chiefs and and lost his life, drowned saving children. Uh, Terrence Moo Marshall is his great nephew. Wow. So there is a lineage to. Uh, certainly an NFL player. Character. Marshall wow. would give you a bigger receiver mm -hmm. and LSU receivers. I mean, if you talk about players from other teams yep. and you talk about and, and you say, oh, so-and-so, Alabama always puts out great linebackers and Penn State always puts out great linebackers yeah. and USC puts out great defensive backs. Wisconsin linemen. Yeah. Well, Wisconsin linemen. LSU puts out wide receivers. Yes, they do. Justin Jefferson? I think kind of pushed that up a little well, bit Well, and he was only the number year. 22 pick. That's what I'm saying. Was he the offensive rookie of the year last mm -hmm. year? Yes, yes, exactly. This is a, a big body kid. Like you said, looking at his stat line from last year against Missouri, SEC team, woo, 235 yards. That was okay. Longest play, 75 yards. So it shows you he got breakaway speed. He's got a bunch of long plays in multiple games, 51 yards, 51 yards, 75, and 54. 
That shows you he has explosion. All right. Six three big body, too. Okay, so the question that we have thrown out is if you can make the pick at twenty two for the Titans, who yeah. do who do you want? Who do you want? And mm-hmm. and and everybody is playing the game well. Yes. Kadarius Tony, Elijah Marshall, Mu Mitchell, I mean um Terrence Marshall, Elijah Moore. Um everybody's sort of getting the game right. Rashad mm-hmm. Bateman, the wide receiver from Minnesota. Yeah. Obviously, another extremely productive guy. Yeah. Uh, so people are mentioning him at J Mart and Ramon. They like that name. Uh, Elijah Vera Tucker. I was just going there. Yeah. Now I- I'm going to tell you, if Elijah Vera Tucker is there at 22, man, it would be hard not to pull the trigger. 100. That's best available right there. As far I, as, depending on what's in front or what's behind. Yes, 100. percent Elijah Vera Tucker is a guard out of USC, mm-hmm. and he's a stud. Some people think he's the surest player in this draft what that's what they say wow that's what they say okay all right so a couple other names that are being thrown out at g martin ramon on twitter as we discuss this christian barmore defensive Mm -hmm. tackle alabama yep in what is thought to be the weakest. That's what I was going to say. He's the the strongest yeah. candidate of a first-rounder this yeah, year. Yeah, it's thought to be the weakest defensive tackle oh, year man. in years. So, do you like Barmore at 22? And then Jason Owe. And, yeah. and let, me, let me run him down for you. Interesting, interesting prospect. Mm-hmm. He spells his last name O-W-E-H. It's pronounced Owe. Owe. So if you want to impress your friends, <laughs> Jason Owe, like Jason you knew. Owe. Yeah. Walk around like say it like you knew it. Exactly. Like Jason you're an Owe. expert. <laughs> like you're Mo Kuyper. Uh, Good yeah. for you. Might okay. as well. Jason Owe, 6'5, 257 defensive end, Penn State. Here's the good. Ran 4-3-7 in the 40. I, I don't know that I'm believing that because of some of the crazy times. At Penn State? Yeah, I know. But that's still going to be fast. Let's say at the combine he would have run 4-4-7. Four, four, okay, still fast. Still plenty fast. I mean, what's, what's the difference, fast. right? That, 100%. Yeah, yeah that, fine. We'll t- okay, so he's not Chris Johnson. Great. <laughs> he's 6'5", 257. And watching him run that 40 also, yeah, yeah, look he real. actually stumbled and went right and yeah. left. He may have been... But he ran it like a guy yeah, who runs 4-4 four, four something. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 100%. There's no taking that away. Vertical, 39 and a half inches. Goodness. Broad jumped 11-2. Pro agility time of 4-4-6. Four, four, the three-cone drill, which is really one of the more meaningful ones because it's about change of direction. Yes. It's about hips. 6.90. His bench is 380. That's his max. His power clean is 365. Explosive. His body fat percentage is 4.9. Jeez. Is it the lowest you can have, like 4%? Yes, he's there. So his is roughly 5%. All right. He was slated to replace Yator Gross Matos. Mm-hmm. He had five sacks in 19. Here's the problem. Seven games for Penn State this past year. 38 tackles, six and a half for loss, Mm -hmm. no sacks. That's not good. But physical specimen. But 6'5", 257, you hear all of this. I mean, he made a bunch of tackles. Yeah, yeah. he's He made some plays. He just wasn't Johnny on spot of being being able to close. And But is he – there are some people who don't – I mean, he's the type of player that Bill Belichick might take at 15 yes. and shock the world. I could see that being the case because, again, that's his system. That's the body type. That's Chandler Jones like to him. Right. You know, that's that's very much Chandler Jones type to him uh, when it comes down to getting those guys that – you know what? His system says we're supposed to be productive. You play within our means, our boundaries. So him just getting to the ball, affecting it, knowing his plays, that's what he does. Winovich is another guy that they have that do that type of stuff from New England right now. So I can see that being a sure. type of guy. It doesn't mean no – so, sax, sax is just a thing, man. Yeah, but it, we judge Ramon, him. We judge him. Ramon, we can't. We can't. I want sacks. I want sacks too. I want, we only had nineteen <laughs> sacks last year with the Titans, my friend. That's we not, we gotta have more sacks than that. Do that. I know, but we gotta have more sacks. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I get pressures are good. Pressures are good. But, I I get that. <laughs> Tackles you, for loss. That that's good. You, you know but, what I think about pressure? It's yes. watching Joe Burrow against the Titans last year. Yeah, I know. 
That's I hate I it mean, watching I mean, that. Well, but here's the other thing too, because you practiced every day against a three four defense. Yeah. If you're running a three four, mm-hmm. you've got to have edge pressure. One hundred percent. I I don't know anything about football except that I know effective three four mm-hmm. teams have edge pressure. That is because the, when they do, mm-hmm. then they can get pressure other places. Yes, indeed. And then it calls for confusion again. You got a guy up the middle and Jeff. And also bringing in Danico, who could push the pocket yeah, with, with Bud, those edge with, rushers. Well, I mean, let's say we put Jason Owe with Bud Dupree and Harold Landry. Man. Hello. Man. Hello. Good, good on good. Good night. Good on good. Good on good is good. All right. Like that. So you are playing the game properly. You've trained this audience well. You and Jason <laughs> Martin have done well. <laughs> I saw this. one that was outland. I don't know if JC is going to be there. JC Horn. He might be. I, I see. I don't think that's outside the realm because there. I don't think he is. Okay. But the same way, I don't think Vera Tucker is either. But uh, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah you yeah, can yeah. play that kind of game. You know, yeah. you can you can do that. That's yes. okay. All right. So the question we're asking you, the audience, six one five seven three seven one zero four five at J Mart and Ramon on Twitter. You're picking at twenty two. You know who's logically going to be there because mm-hmm. you are a highly intelligent, brilliant audience. If you're a Titans fan, you're just a winner. Let's face <laughs> it, you're it. a winner. Love it. So you know. You know ball. You've been trained by Titans Radio to know ball. Maybe. But the bottom <laughs> line is, who do you want? Who do you want at 22? I want to know who you want. This is J-Mart and Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. Titans Nation, the fandom that powers a city, Nashville. He is the baddest man in the NFL. There's only one place to find everything Titans football. 104.5 The Zone. Hey, it's Jay Mart. Let me speak for a moment to our business owners today. It's more important than ever to ensure that your facility is as safe as it can be. A lot can happen over a year of limited or no capacity, as I'm sure you know. You need to assess your equipment and systems, evaluate your indoor air quality, outline new cleaning procedures, and review options for implementing touchless plumbing and electrical fixtures. That's a lot of words for me to say. That's a lot of extra stuff that you have to do. But Lee Company can help you with that. They've been in the facility management and maintenance business for decades. Put their facility management expertise to work for you. You will be glad you did. Now that we got the worst behind us, don't just restart business as usual. Restart right. Restart better. Restart with Lee Company. Call Lee Company today at 615-567-1000. That's 567-1000. Or contact them online at leecompany.com. Lee Company, all you need. The VA loan is one of the best benefits of being in the military. You can buy a home with no money down. You can refinance and cash out up to 100% of your home's equity. And interest rates are up to a full point lower than other loans. At HeroLoan.com, we want to earn your business. We pay for the appraisal and can close your VA loan in as little as 14 days. Get the loan you deserve and apply online today at HeroLoan.com. The only way to VA. NMLS number 1326-241. Moist. Slacks. Vegetables. The three worst words in the English language. The other three worst words? Oh, no. Termites. They cause more damage than fires, floods, and tornadoes combined. And they are everywhere in Middle Tennessee. Are you protected? We can help. Call All-American Pest Control. 615-209-9929. Yuck. Bugs. Dot com. Did you know a burglar can take less than a minute to break into your home and typically stay somewhere between 8 and 12 minutes before leaving? That's not a good feeling if it happens to you or someone you know. I'm Shooter Stein, president of NCA, National Certified Alarms. We've been protecting homes and businesses in Middle Tennessee since we started our family-owned business in 1997. At NCA, we offer landline security alarm monitoring starting at just $9.95 a month and cellular monitoring starting at just $19.95 a month. Don't pay $30 or more for the same service when you can save 50% or more. And we have no long-term contracts like the other guys. There are no fees to convert to NCA if you have an existing security system that is compatible. And if you need a new system for your home or business, we can install one for a great price. Call us today at 615-777-7NCA. At 615-777-7622 or go online at nca.cc. License number 645. 
Hi, I'm Matt Duchesne, and most of you know I'm a husband, father, proud Nashville Predator, and a huge music fan. But what you might not know is that I'm also a total Ford guy, and my dealership is Two Rivers Ford. I chose Two Rivers because they're honest, upfront, and easy to do business with. They also have non-commissioned salespeople, which is great. I figured when a local business has been around for almost four decades, they must be doing something right, eh? So if you're ready for a new Ford, definitely go see my friends at Two Rivers Ford. Masvidal and Usman put on a show the last time they stepped into the octagon. And the DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC, is putting you in the center of this weekend's title fight. Pick either main event fighter to win this weekend's UFC 261 title fight, and DraftKings Sportsbook will give you 26 to 1 odds. Just bet $5 on either fighter to win. If they walk out with the belt, you will cash $130. There's no better way to put your MMA knowledge to the test than to put your money where your mouth is. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code WGFX when you sign up to turn $5 into $130 if the title contender of your choice wins. That's code WGFX for a limited time. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 years or older and present in Tennessee to bet. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com Sportsbook for details. And if you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call or text the Tennessee red line at 1-800-889-9789. I love your new home. How did you find this neighborhood? It's a Partners in Building neighborhood. There are five of them all around Brentwood and Franklin. Our home is on an acre, but they have communities with three acres or even five acres. Partners in Building, huh? They built this gorgeous home? Partners in Building did everything. They designed the plans, helped us choose all the stuff, and every step went really smooth. We've been thinking about building. How did you get started? Easy. Go to partnersinbuilding.com or call 615-486-4009. If you're suffering with back pain, the Disc Center of Franklin is there to give you the relief you need. Hey, it's Mickey Ryan. The next 25 callers get an exam, x-rays, a complete review of findings, and first treatment for just $35. Call the Disc Center of Franklin now, 615-551-9224. Identity thieves love tax forms with personal info needed to steal your identity. That's why LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. Smyrna, Sam Ridley Parkway Industrial Boulevard. Still dealing with the crash with emergency crews on the scene. Use caution. No problems coming in on 24 or 65. No unusual delays on 840. We're accident-free on 40 and 440. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football. 104.5 The Zone. Jay Martin and Ramon, presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. When trust matters, you can count on All Four Seasons Garage Doors in Nashville. Professional garage door installation and repair from a family-owned and operated business. Visit allfourseasonsgaragedoors.com slash Nashville to learn more. 737-1045. You must give the 615 beforehand. 615-737-1045. Twitter at Jay Martin and Ramon. Charles in Nashville, you are on the clock, my friend. The Titans picking at number 22 in the first round. Who do you want them to take? Hit me. I think I take Najee Harris. You get a running back and a receiver out of the backfield, and he can block. I'll let you talk about that. Thank you. Ooh, Najee. Uh, uh, again, Darrington Evans is there also as your, your scat back, right? Yeah, I, I understand the contingency plan for Derrick Henry. I've kind of brought that up, too. I like I, Najee. I mean, he's, I, a, yes. he's a super player, but he's also at a position where <clears throat> you can often find guys. You've invested $50 million in a running back. Yeah. You have the best running back in the league. You didn't re-sign your tight end because you're one of the few teams in the league who pays a running back. Yeah. I mean, that's really your choice when it comes down to it. You can't. And- you couldn't pay Janu if you're going to pay Derrick Henry, and you sure should pay Derrick Henry. A hundred percent. Yeah, I I get it, and and I think he could be picked in the first round. I don't know. There's some teams that I've heard, of course, that want Najee as far as you know his uh him being a running back. I know um who was it? Arizona was a team I think could pick a running back again. Uh, ATN is still out there though. It's just it it depends on who you value more when it comes down to that position. Again, 
I've said a contingency plan for Derrick Henry, but I think the offense could or still go, and that's when you got to see this team through Ryan Tannehill also. You got to. Well, here, here's – I want to go back to J.C. Horn for just a minute. Yeah. Because someone asked, how does J.C. Horn get to 22? He okay. is the cornerback, Joe Horn's son. Wow. 6'1", 205, uh-huh. out of South Carolina. Pedigree. Or, oh, big time. Yes. All right, so how does he get there? Well, you have five quarterbacks taken beforehand, which I think is logical. Mm-hmm. Kyle Pitts is going to be a tight end who's taken beforehand. Yep. What if you have a nice run on wide receivers? Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, Kadarius uh-huh. Toney. Mm-hmm. What if Terrence Marshall or Elijah Moore or Rashad Bateman goes before there? And then you throw in a couple, maybe three tackles. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to get you okay, there. Okay. Uh, right. Elijah Vera Tucker yeah. at guard. Panay Sewell, Rashawn Slater from Northwestern at tackle. Yeah. Christian Darasaw from Virginia Tech at tackle. Tevin Jenkins at tackle mm-hmm. from Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State. Yep. All right, so you get there. What if somebody likes Trevin Marig, the safety from TCU, yeah. who is a special player? 6'2". And then corners, you got flavors. You got Patrick Sertan, mm-hmm. who most people think is going first. What if people aren't worried about Caleb Farley's back, the corner out of Virginia Tech? Yeah. What if people like Greg Newsom out of Northwestern like I do? What if somebody likes linebacker Micah Parsons from Penn State or Jeremiah Owasu Koromoa from, yeah. from Notre Dame or Jamin Davis from Kentucky? Mm-hmm. Then let's talk about edge rushers that could be there. Quiddy Pay from Michigan, Zaven Collins from Tulsa, Aziz Ojalary from Georgia, Jalen mm-hmm. Phillips from Miami of Florida, defensive tackle Christian Barmore. Yep. All right, so I think there's a way that one of these corners, if they're not your flavor, could yeah. drop down. And I think that's the way Horn could end up being there. Because, I mean, here's the knock on him, all right? He didn't have a pick his first two years at South Carolina. Okay. Now, here's what I like about it. 6'1", 205, long arms, football pedigree through his dad. He chased the other team's best receiver for the majority of 2020. Right. And played really, yes. really well. I, I mean, he. I don't think he's there at 22. Do you? I, I don't either because, again, I see some team that needs him, need a big body type like his, man, being able to take him. And this is what they have as, as his, you know, his uh, strengths and weaknesses, too. Just to give you a little bit more perspective on it, you let me know because I'm sure you've taken a deeper dive is best trait, physicality. That is his best trait. Uh, strengths, press, man, coverage, length, and athleticism. His weakness, though, questionable top-end speed, can play too high at times late in the games, which just honestly to me, I think that's conditioning and focus at the end of that. That's something that's coachable, I think. Um, top end speed, you cover yourself. Defenses in, uh, in the NFL are a whole lot smarter. I'm sure he was one on one on the island. The hashes are huge when it comes down to college and how you defend the hashes so wide when it comes down to that. Like you have because the hashes whole... in pro ball are much closer. Yes, 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 yes. More even out too, so it's less field to cover when it comes down to breaking it down that way. Um, I like it as far as him getting there, the way you drilled off those names and just put players yeah. in place. Uh. This is what I say about this draft, which is so, so very interesting to me. You find it where it's generational talent in some drafts, okay? I think the quarterbacks you might hit on two or five, just being honest. Uh, the wide receivers could all be solid. And I think if you look at just that, Panay Sewell got some questions behind him, but so does everybody else in this draft. I think this draft right here is going to be one of the hardest – Probably one of the ones with the most movement because it's guys that are just going to be solid. I don't know about, like, what do you want to superstars right. automatically out? Saquon Barkley coming out, superstar. You sure. knew that. Trevor Lawrence, still a toss-up depending on what Jacksonville does. The only knock on Trevor Lawrence probably to me is going to be him going to Jacksonville. Let's be, just be completely honest. Sure. That organization, beautiful organization, is just you don't know him to be – steady as you need him to be. Um, but he could be the guy to change. I think you're going to have a bunch of solid core guys when it comes down to it. All right. So lots to talk about. You listening, 615-737-1045. On Twitter, at Jmart and Ramon. 
At number 22, who do you want for the Titans that's going to be there? Give me your guy, and we've gotten Mm -hmm. a lot of them. We'll run down who you've given us so far at the top of the 7 o'clock hour, but we want you to add to it. This is J-Mart and Ramon, presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors on 104.5 The Zone. Cough syrup and eyebrow trimming. Don't mix. Just ask Buck. I was doped up on, I think, cough syrup, and I accidentally shaved off my eyebrows. Uh, I mean, I would, I would. it was definitely noticeable for about a week. <laughs> Buck Rising, today, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 104.5 The Zone. This is Pomar Science with the CBS Sports Minute. Last season, Alex Smith unexpectedly returned after a horrific leg injury that required 17 surgeries and nearly cost him his life. Yesterday, he announced his retirement in an emotionally powerful Instagram video. Two years ago, I was stuck in a wheelchair staring down at my mangled leg, wondering if I'd ever be able to go on a walk with my wife again or play games with my kids in the yard, said Smith. Putting my helmet back on was the farthest thing from my mind. I kept asking myself, All this for a stupid game? Yet he came back and led Washington to the playoffs. The 36-year-old revealed that he had met with Jacksonville, now led by his old college coach, Urban Meyer, but ultimately Smith decided to retire. It's been suggested that the NFL's Comeback Player of the Year award be named in his honor. That would be fitting. That would be the right thing to do. I'm Boomer Esiason. This is Renee. Happy to be here. She's in a few John Deere commercials this year, but she's not some influencer. She's more of a groundbreaker behind the wheel of a one series tractor. With her iMatch quick hitch, backhoe, quick park loader, and auto connect mower deck, turning her four acre lot into a little slice of heaven is as easy as. Renee runs with us on a John Deere one series tractor because the most important job is the next one. That's all I got. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear Renee's story at deer.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Syntec is back and better than ever at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Syntec is a premium full synthetic motor oil option at an affordable price. Right now, get five quarts of Syntec full synthetic and a Wix filter for just $29.99. Syntec is formulated for today's engines to minimize friction, heat, and wear. Try Syntec today exclusively at oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. You've been hearing about it. Now it's here. Genesis Diamond's store-wide spring extravaganza is happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This weekend, three days of mind-blowing savings from Nashville's favorite jeweler. Savings up to 35%. It is incredible. Rings, earrings, pendants, bands, bracelets, colored gemstone jewelry, even designer bridal and fashion jewelry, even certified diamonds. Last year's spring event had to be canceled, so Genesis is making up for it this year with an even greater selection, even better prices, even more aggressive financing. They are doubling down. Top designers have flown in their entire collections, all new fashion-forward jewelry you won't see anywhere else. And Genesis' selection of rare, precious diamonds has never been bigger. If you're getting engaged, celebrating an anniversary, or have any special occasion coming up this spring or summer, you must be at this event. People will drive for hours to be a part of this and take advantage of the incredible savings. The Genesis Storewide Spring Extravaganza. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Green Hills and Cool Springs, Genesis Diamonds. The headlines have hit the news, claiming shortages of vehicles in Middle Tennessee, not at Music City Autoplex. Their exceptional wholesale buying ability has allowed them to increase inventory to meet your needs like no other dealership. More late model, low mileage choices, more financing options, more SUVs, more trucks, more sedans. So visit Music City Autoplex today and find more of what you want in a vehicle purchase experience. See why Music City Autoplex is growing and why they are the uncommon dealership. Located at 2430 Gallatin Pike or online at musiccityautoplex.com. A reading from the Golden Oak Lending Book of Mortgage Lingo. What is Zipline? It's Golden Oak's fast and easy online mortgage tool that leaves you with more time to plan a family movie night. I get to pick the movie. And clean up the popcorn you weren't planning on sharing. At Golden Oak Lending, we speak mortgage and love translating it. Right now, rates are at a record low 1.875%. Visit goldenoaklending.com to use Zipline. NMLS 114937, 1.875% fixed, 2.913% APR, FHA 15-year mortgage with 20% equity and approved credit. Hit the jackpot on Vegas size thrills at Oak Grove Gaming. Just a quick spin from Nashville off I-24. Win big on over 1,300 of the latest and greatest games. 
Indulge in all your favorites at our four fantastic restaurants, including our signature steakhouse, Garrison Oak. Live it up at our lively bars and lounges, featuring the region's best bands performing live. Of course, it's even more fun when you stay and play. Unwind in an elegant room or suite at our luxurious hotel, then wake up to enjoy all the Vegas action all over again. Ready to get away without going far away? Make your hotel and dining reservations at oakgrovegaming.com. That's oakgrovegaming.com. Oak Grove Racing, Gaming, and Hotel. So Vegas, so close. Conveniently located off I-24, exit 86, across from Fort Campbell in Oak Grove, Kentucky. Just a short drive from Nashville. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Ferguson, facility supplies, putting safety first with products like the E-Mist, an electrostatic disinfecting mister. The E-Mist patented application system has 360-degree sanitation, allowing more coverage, less waste, and better results. No proprietary chemicals needed, and one gallon of solution cleans 54,000 square feet, cutting labor and solution costs by 45%. Ferguson is one of the nation's top providers of maintenance, repair and operations products for a variety of facilities for multifamily, hospitality, assisted living schools, and more. Create a safer workspace with Ferguson. Call Ferguson today at 888-242-6595. Staples helps you get back to business with custom printed signs and sales materials. Now get 15% off signs, posters, or decals when you spend $75 or more. Offer ends 52921. Exclusions apply. Limit one per customer. See store staples.com slash signage for details. At HeroLoan.com, we want to earn your business. We pay for the appraisal and can close your VA loan in as little as 14 days. Get the loan you deserve and apply online today at HeroLoan.com. The only way to VA. NMLS number 1326-241. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. Smyrna, Sam Ridley Parkway at Industrial Boulevard, still dealing with the crash with emergency crews on the scene. Use caution. No problems coming in on 24 or 65. No unusual delays on 840. We're accident-free on 40 and 440. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football, 104.5 The Zone. From the Mark Spain Real Estate Studios, this is your Titans NFL Draft Station. WGFX Gallatin, Nashville. Trending now at 104.5 The Zone. It is 7.01. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Schaefer. According to ESPN's Chris Lowe, former Michigan quarterback Joe Milton is planning to transfer to Tennessee. Not official as of yet. Milton was a starter for the Wolverines in 2020. Had over 1,000 yards passing in five starts, but was replaced in Michigan's final game of the season. He has three years of eligibility remaining. National Predators defeated Chicago Blackhawks 5-2. Pred snapped a two-game losing streak, remained in fourth place in a playoff position in the Central Division. Alex Smith announced his NFL retirement yesterday, capping a 16-year career. Turns 37 next month. Smith started his career as a number one overall pick, returned last year to win the Comeback Player of the Year award after he missed two years to a gruesome injury that nearly cost him his right leg. And Gonzaga freshman guard Jalen Suggs, as expected, entering the 2021 NBA Draft. Breaking news at once on your own with the Titans and the Vols. This is 104.5 The Zone everybody's attention now now it's time for jason martin and ball for life ramon foster powered by all four seasons garage doors together they are j mart and ramon on 104.5 the zone who do you want the titans to take at 22 who is your guy who is your dude that's the question we ask in hour number one Mike Keith with Ramon Foster, J-Mart, and Ramon. Jason Martin is on assignment at this time, so I am filling the chair. Taking your calls at 615-737-1045. Twitter at J-Mart and Ramon. You can also watch Zone TV. Zone TV! (laughs) On Facebook Live, Periscope, YouTube, and Twitch. We are on. We are on, Ramon Foster. We have had a lot of great suggestions as to whom the Titans should select. At number 22, who do the people want? Well, they like Kadarius Toney. They like Mm -hmm. Elijah Moore, Terrence Marshall, Rashad Bateman, Elijah Vera Tucker, Mm -hmm. Christian Barmore, Jason Owe, Jamin Davis, the linebacker from Kentucky. Yeah. Let's see who Buckeye Dan in Hermitage, Tennessee wants. Buckeye Dan, welcome to the program. Who's your guy at 22 for the two-tone blues? 
How about Quiddy Pay from that team up north? Ooh. Is that hard for you to I say, Buckeye Dan? <laughs> uh, I usually call them the meat chicken wool sardines. They were too cowardly to play us last year. Wow. <laughs> wow. You were li- when, when they backed out, how much – or they were forced to back out. Yeah. How much did you love that? Uh, no, no, no. You got it right the first time. They just chose to back See, out. See, listen to you. <laughs> you were so happy, weren't you? Admit it. That you uh, knew. Well, you know why they did it. Well, I know. In the preseason, Ryan Day threatened to put a hundred on them. Yeah. Wow. And they probably would have. Yeah, they yeah. may have. This yeah, year. but you you got the best part of it because now you can just say whatever you want and it doesn't matter. Nope. <laughs> All right, so let me run him down for people. That's a good suggestion. Yeah, it is. Uh, thanks for the call, and he may be there at twenty two. Quitty pay. 6'2", 261, defensive lineman from Michigan. He's an edge guy. 16 hits, four tackles for loss, two sacks in only four games in 2020. In 2019, 50 tackles, 12 and a half for a loss, six and a half sacks. Mm. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. He, he has run, and this is what gets everybody about him. He has phenomenal quickness. Yeah. 6'3", 7 in the three cone. Goodness. Yeah, that's crazy. Four five seven in the forty, and for an ed, listen, it's guy. Who cares? I mean, four five seven. That's nice, but how many times do you run forty yards as an edge guy? Explosiveness is what you want. Explosive cone is where you want him. And change of direction. Yes, one hundred percent. And okay, thirty reps on the bench. You would expect that because he's a more compact guy. Yeah. Uh, four fifteen pro shuttle time. Eleven three time in the sixty yard shuttle. All mm. those times are outstanding. He's a former high school running back. Wow. Yeah, so he's for Rhode Island. Not a lot of great players out of Rhode Island. He's probably everywhere on the field anyway. Well, so he's a former refugee of the Liberian Civil War. He was born in Guinea and immigrated to the United States before the age of one as his mother fled their war-torn homeland. He will be 23 on November the 19th. He fits this defense. Yes. Some of these, like, they're, they're a bunch of edge guys projected in the top 100. Some of them are 4 3 guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unquestionably. This guy, you would feel like, could play in a 3 4, and he is hey, dynamic. This is what I, I'm, I'm saying as far as his scouting breakdown. Also, best trade, and this goes a long way when you're talking about a 3 4 defense, Mike, and you know this because we talked about edge rusher. We heard Bud Dupree say something about his edge defense as far as running the ball. Why? Because mm-hmm. he played in a 3 4 defense also. Right. When you throw Quiddy Pay into this, this is what the, the his draft scouting report says best trait, creating leverage. That's number one as far as his best trait. Strengths, explosiveness, which we knew that by the numbers you read off, um, leverage and leg drive. Huge right there. When you're talking about creating lanes or sustaining your gap, that's the guy that you want on your side. Weakness, experience, you can get that, of course. It's, he, when did he start playing football? Probably in high school? Probably in high school. Exactly. Well, he was a high school running back. That's what I'm saying. And so he gets to Michigan, and they say, you guess what? Learn. Guess yes. what? You're an outside linebacker. I'd rather you there uh, and on-field production. Again, this is a guy that probably has less miles than the majority of the guys that are in this draft when it True. talks about on his body. So for him to be this dynamic when it comes down to – you know, this his young career as a college athlete says a whole lot about him, man, as far as what he's able to bring to it. But just hearing creating leverage I, 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 or seeing that, I think that's a good thing when you're talking about this division and what it's going to rely on. I know we know Jacksonville, run game. They're going to they're gonna make sure uh, – who's the young – is it John Robinson? Mm-hmm. Down in Jacksonville, they're going to run the ball. Uh, when you look at Indy. And he's got a solid old line. Yes, they got to replace this. And they've Constanzo. got nine running backs. Exactly. And you got Big Quentin up the middle, and you know they're going to try to push it. Okay? They have well, and, that's, and that's where they're going to help yes. Carson Wentz is because they because they have so many running backs. Yes. And because they have such diversity in their backs, it's going to be like what – I think it's going to be like what you saw them do, what Frank Reich had in Philadelphia when yes. he was the offensive coordinator – where they rotated three or four backs situationally, um, yeah, I you so, got you got to yeah, stop the run. You got to you got to be able to stop the run. So that's going to be huge for the Titans in this division. If you're trying, if a guy like Quiddy Pay drops down, but to listen the to the edge guys. Okay, so I yeah. I've taken ESPN's top hundred players and broken them down by position group. Mm-hmm. 
13 defensive ends outside linebackers. And again, some of them are not true three, four guys. Right. But I just grouped them this way for the sake of argument. Quiddy Pay is the 18th overall prospect. Zaven Collins from Tulsa, mm-hmm. who is the one that blows that, me away. He did, is a freak. You see his story? Yeah, man? he's crazy. This is a. It reminds me of is it Vandenesh at uh, with the Cowboys. Yeah, Vander or, or Leonard yeah. with 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 uh, with uh, Indianapolis. Yes, big, long, rangy linebackers, I not know. outside rushers, but he can do that. Oh my god, he can cover. He can rush the passer. Yes. He can cover. He's the 23rd prospect. Yeah. Aziz Ojolari, 6'2", 249 out of Georgia. Yep. Jalen Phillips, talented guy out of Miami of Florida, transferred from UCLA. Ronnie Perkins from Oklahoma, who overcame a suspension. Mm-hmm. Joe Tryon from Washington. Some people think Joe Tryon is moving towards being a first-round pick. Wow. Gregory Russo from Miami of Florida. Jason Owe, who we talked about in hour number one yep. from Penn State. Carlos Boogie Basham from Wake Forest. <laughs> Love Boogie Basham. Boogie. Uh, Patrick Jones from Pittsburgh. Peyton Turner from Houston. You talk about intriguing. Yeah. You talk about an intriguing prospect. It's Peyton Turner. Uh, Chris Rump II from Duke. Now, he's undersized. Mm-hmm. He's 6'2", about 230, but he is an explosive pass rusher. Yeah. And then uh, Joseph Osai from Texas. Uh, rated as the 80th best prospect. So, I mean, they're he, they're was, available. You don't have to take no. one early to be able to get one who can help you down the line. Like their Osai is a guy that was, at some parts during the season, was labeled as a first-rounder. Some people still think he is. <laughs> I mean, that and he's it, still going to be higher, that he's at least going to be a second-round pick. Yeah, and you you – you would think as far as depth goes, as far as just quality goes, it might be that that linebacker edge rusher position, man. When you just broke that down, Mike, just listen to some of the guys, and these are names that people know, and these are guys that seen production this year. Um, again, this draft is intriguing for a lot of different ways mm-hmm. because there's a lot of players that you've heard about and some guys who set out who still have high draft stock. And I think, again, it's going to be a draft where the quality of it becomes just this was a solid draft. It's not the the whole like big makeup of it being like a, a a top marquee guy other than Trevor Lawrence. The quarterbacks they still have people questioning the quarterbacks this year. But the, like Joe Tryon, yeah, at Washington, he sat out the year. Mm-hmm. He chose not to play for the Huskies. Yeah, he's played one year for of college football. That's wild. Forty one tackles, twelve and a half tackles for loss, eight sacks in twenty nineteen. He. Just the the second day of the draft, he will turn 22. But that's really all he's played, Red. Four, six, eight in the 40. His three cone was pretty good. Seven, one, eight. That's good. That makes Quiddy Pays even more remarkable. But, I mean, this is a bigger, longer guy from Mm -hmm. Renton, Washington. But how do you rate him based on the fact that he didn't play last year? You go off that P word, man. Potential. Potential. (laughs) <laughs> which is off. why which is why a guy like Belichick yeah. might trade back from 15, gather some more picks, mm-hmm. and then take him at 30. Because you know he's going to be there. Right. Again, just looking at the strengths and weaknesses of him. The best thing, again, this and this fits, as you mentioned, the Belichick way. High motor guy. Agitators is what he want on defense, man. Uh, strength, power, and athleticism. Weakness, again, same thing as Quiddy Pay. Uh, experience, and it says it struggles reading the mesh point. So it's just... That's teachable stuff. That's system stuff. That's again, you're getting a heck of an athlete. But Pro- Joe Tryon at 22 would be a, would be a good pick. It could be. It's and it's a guy that can sit behind some starters for a second if you know Bud's ready. If you know um, Landry is, is needs a spell or can teach a guy up. That's again my philosophy. Is some teams rebuild, some reload. So if you get a guy like Joe Tryon. Okay, you get an opportunity to put him in and let him do work and let him learn, or either behind Big Jeff, this is where you pick him at 22, if he's there. You need, he should be. You need dudes who can get after the quarterback. Facts. We need a break. This is J-Mart and Ramon, presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. When trust matters, you can count on All Four Seasons Garage Doors in Nashville. Professional garage door installation and repair from a family-owned and operated business. Visit allfourseasonsgaragedoors.com slash Nashville to learn more. You may phone us at 615-737-1045. We would welcome your call. You may tweet at Jmart and Ramon. Who would you mm-hmm. take at number 22? Your lists 
have been outstanding. I am most impressed. More coming up on 104.5 The Zone. The Preds are the hottest team in the NHL. And this is your home for the best Predators coverage. 104.5 The Zone. Mortgage interest rates are still sitting at an all-time low level, but they are starting to go up just slightly. So if you've been sitting on the fence to get a refi, if you don't have your pre-approved home loan locked in, I'm telling you, now is the time. Interest rates are sitting in the low twos, which means by refinancing your 30-year mortgage, the home loan expert can save you hundreds of dollars a month. This past year has been tough for a lot of different reasons. A pandemic to start us off, just job loss, loss of overtime, getting through the holidays, bills and debt. It's just so much that we all just kind of went through this year. But I'm here to tell you, your home is your biggest asset. And with home equity so high right now, especially in our area, it is the perfect time to do a cash-out refi. There's a few things that can do for you. It can lower your monthly payment, give you cash to pay off your debt, or you can just simply skip a few mortgage payments. That's how you continue 2021 with a little less worry. And the thing is, if you're looking to buy a new home like so many people in this area because they are selling fast, getting pre-approved is key to finding your dream home. If you have your house in mind, you better put an offer in it real fast because it's only going to last about a day or two. At thehomeloanexpert.com, they can lock in your interest rate. Check. Project your payments. Check. And get you pre-qualified. So when you find that right home, again, they go fast. You can submit the offer and close on your dream home. Plus, the HomeLoanExpert.com is closing purchases in less than 30 days, so don't wait. Get the five-minute loan approval only available at the HomeLoanExpert.com. Again, that's the HomeLoanExpert.com. The headlines have hit the news, claiming shortages of vehicles in Middle Tennessee, not at Music City Autoplex. Their exceptional wholesale buying ability has allowed them to increase inventory to meet your needs like no other dealership. More late model, low mileage choices, more financing options, more SUVs, more trucks, more sedans. So visit Music City Autoplex today and find more of what you want in a vehicle purchase experience. See why Music City Autoplex is growing and why they are the uncommon dealership. Located at 2430 Gallatin Pike or online at musiccityautoplex.com. If you're thinking about selling your home this spring, now is the time. Hi, this is Mark Spain. When it comes to selling your home, experience matters. The Wall Street Journal ranks Mark Spain Real Estate number one in the United States for closed homes for the third year in a row. And when you call us, we respond fast. You can sell your home hassle-free and skip the constant cleaning and repairs and all the stress. With that guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate, you can receive an all-cash offer and close in as little as 21 days. Trust me, I've been in business for over 25 years and served over 25,000 homeowners, and I know what matters most, a quick sell and maximum profit. One of our clients, Chris, said, Mark Spain Real Estate made selling our home so easy and stress-free with their guaranteed offer program. We got an offer of Above market value, exceeding all of our expectations. Work with the most trusted team in real estate. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. 855-299-SOLD. Certain restrictions apply. The signs of spring are all around us. Warmer weather, flowers blooming, and mosquitoes. Luckily, you can take back your yard with Arrow Exterminators and their Mosquito Control Service. The experts at Arrow protect homes using the most environmentally friendly methods available so that you can enjoy your yard all spring and summer long. Fight the mosquito bites and schedule your free home or business pest inspection today. Call 888-GO-ARROW or visit arrowexterminators.com. That's 888-GO-ARROW or arrowexterminators.com. Genesis Diamond's first spring sale in two years is here this weekend, and they're holding nothing back. Save up to 35% store-wide. Rings, earrings, bands, bracelets, all on sale. Last year's spring extravaganza was canceled, so they're doubling up this year with bigger discounts and expanded selection. Aggressive financing. Designers are here with their entire collections all on sale. Even certified diamond engagement rings are on sale, so don't miss this. Genesis store-wide spring extravaganza, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Genesis Diamond Spectacular Spring Extravaganza is here this weekend. Three days of phenomenal savings store-wide. You save up to 35% off Genesis' already guaranteed best prices. Rings, pendants, earrings, bracelets, bands, and more. Plus special financing. This event was canceled last year, so we're making it bigger than ever this year. With twice the selection and double the savings. Get sale prices on all new designer jewelry and GIA certified diamonds. This Friday through Sunday only and only at Genesis Diamond. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Unapproved credit. If you're looking for flooring and you absolutely positively have to know you're getting the best price, the choice is clear. 
At Buy Floors Direct, we buy direct from the factory in massive quantities and sell direct to you from our huge, clean warehouse without retail markups. The decor stores and home centers have expensive retail locations, fancy displays, and middlemen costs, and that means you'll pay more. Come in and see why contractors and designers buy their flooring at a Buy Floors Direct warehouse. These pros are always telling us how our quality floors are priced far lower than the retail stores. Our warehouses are full of tile, hardwood, laminate, waterproof floors, and everything you need to install them, including friendly advice. Go to buyfloorsdirect.com or visit a Buy Floors Direct warehouse because there's no reason to ever pay retail for flooring. You have the opportunity to build a future. AT&T is hiring technicians across the greater Nashville area to help expand and support the AT&T fiber network. Our technician teams are on the front lines of growing the AT&T fiber footprint and assisting customers with installing and supporting AT&T fiber. You'll experience new challenges and adventures with a full benefits package and employee perks. Sound like the right job for you? Apply today at att.jobs forward slash technician. That's att.jobs forward slash technician. AT&T is an equal opportunity employer. Listen to 104.5 The Zone for the latest news and the best coverage of the draft. 104.5 The Zone draft coverage is sponsored by Two Rivers Ford. Two Rivers Ford, powered by Ford, driven by people. If you're very quiet, you can hear it. The joy, the freedom, the crunch. From 100% whole grain oats. Stay outside longer with Nature Valley Oats and Honey Crunchy Granola Bars. We are better outside. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. Use caution in Smyrna, Sam Ridley Parkway to Industrial Boulevard. We've got an accident with emergency crews still on the scene. Other than that, we're looking good this morning. No problems on 24 or 840. No unusual delays coming in on 65 or 40. 440 running accident free. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football. 104.5 The Zone. Mike Keith sitting in for Jason Martin on J-Mart and Ramon. Ramon Foster is here, the former Pittsburgh Steeler. 615-737-1045 at J-Mart and Ramon on Twitter. Our guest from CBS Sports and also from Sirius XM NFL Radio, the great Pat Kerwin. Thank you so much for taking time with us this morning, kind sir. Oh, thanks for having me, Mike and Ramon. Good to hear you guys. We're only a week away. It's time this thing happens, please. It is, it is time this thing <laughs> happens. So so let me narrow it down right away and get you to just dive right into the 12-foot section of the pool. <laughs> and that is San Francisco, two-parter. Do, do they know what they're going to do yet at number three? And what do you think San Francisco is going to do at number three? Yeah, well, I think for starters, you don't move up to three unless you have two names in your mind. You can't go to three with one name because mm-hmm. you can be heartbroken at that point. Um, I always try to tell people on our show, yeah, we moved up to get a quarterback. We missed by one spot, but his name was Brett Favre, and we moved up one spot too short. So you don't go to three unless you have two names. And I think so they're at the mercy of the Jets. I think the Jets will take Zach Wilson. And I think if these guys are smart, they'll take Justin Fields. And I think. Um, the head coach knows Justin Fields all the way back to his high school days. So there's no mystery there. The coach likes to get the, the passing game outside the pocket. He likes athletic guys. Um, not that he was a big fan of RG3 when they were in Washington, when they drafted him, there's always uh, rumors about who really wanted him. But when they got him, um, the Shanahan's knew exactly how to get him to play well. Uh, he just couldn't hold up. So he's, he's handled those kind of guys. He's, he's handled – relationship with Matt Ryan. So I think his preference is an athlete. I, I would think it would be Justin Fields. I don't really think he had to move up to three to get uh, the Alabama quarterback. So be surprised if that really happened. I know that's, that was the first rumor out there, and I never buy the first thing I hear, right? Why do you <laughs> think there – Pat, why do you think there is so much smoke about the Mac Jones to San Francisco thing? Um. I think Mac is. If you here's here's how I look at that. If you have to put the rookie on the field, like the Jets have to put the rookie on the field, right? They already got rid of Sam. If you have to put the rookie on the field, now you're looking at this whole class a lot different. You're going to say, well, Trevor Lawrence can and will go on the field right away. Uh, the next guy that might be the one that could step out on the field might be, and I'm emphasizing that word, would be the Alabama kid. I think a lot of people think 
the others need a little time, or in the case of North Dakota State, a lot of time. So um, readiness and your situation calls for different things. Like to me, the North Dakota State kids should go to the Redskins, excuse me, the Washington football team. Why? Well, they got Fitzy. We all know that. But but they also have a coach, and I'm very close to Ron Rivera. And I remember when Ron drafted Cam, the first thing he did was go to Auburn. And if you remember, it was the lockout year, and it was, okay, give me his 10 best plays. I mean, he's a one-year player at Auburn. Give me his 10 best plays. We're just going to install those because we have no time to do anything else. And so he's already worked with an athlete. And when I watch Lance run, I don't see Lamar. I see Cam. So, so that'd be a good place for him. Uh, but I do think Washington, you know, I, you know, I talked to Mike Tannenbaum yesterday about this. And I think Mike's all over the compensation world we're coming up to. A lot of guys want to get out of this draft and get into next year's draft with more picks because they don't have all the information. They're scared to death with the medical and lack of information. No one's visiting your facility, virtual meetings, blah, blah, blah. So um, he thought he thought some of the moving around would be fairly cheap, relatively speaking, to other years. So a team like Washington could jump up if, if Lance falls down a little bit. But I think San Francisco should take Justin Fields. I mean, Jim Miller and I run a mock draft. It's meaningless, worthless but we try to be fairly close to what we think the needs are and the reality of picks. And we spent six months on this thing. And, and so I put, I put fields in there every time and happy. I do. I get a lot of flack for it, but I don't care. (laughs) Oh yeah. That's, that's the part of it. As as my colleagues like to say, it's the season of lies. Okay. That's, that's what we're in right now when it comes down to the draft. So Pat, the the question I have is this, and it kind of pushed me back to the uh, 2018 draft. I heard somebody talk about it. It's very interesting. Of these five quarterbacks that's going to be taken, and if you go back to 2018, it's five quarterbacks taken also. Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen, and uh, Lamar Jackson. Same thing that's going on this year. If you look at that group, I'd say Sam Darnold's still questionable. Josh Allen's out of the league. Baker Mayfield got some stuff he got to go through. Josh Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen. Yeah, Josh Rosen. Um, Lamar is still transitioning too. Of these five that will be taken this year, who's the – the most successful, I think, I'd, I'd, I'd ask you to project out of this group because not all of them will be. I think that's just the game in general. Not everybody can be yeah. successful. Who is the one that's going to take over? Um, I think it's an answer. For me, it's an easy answer, Trevor Lawrence. Okay. I mean, I would put Trevor on top of that whole list. Okay. If he was coming out in that draft, I'd, I'd put him up there. I mean, when we went to this playoff structure, where there's real playoff games in college football, basically nobody has been in more big games than Trevor Lawrence. And he won a national championship as an 18-year-old. He's not just big and and with a quality arm. He's also a really good athlete who can run. I think that guy is probably one of those once every five. I wouldn't say every 10 years. Everyone likes to say it once every five years. A guy like this comes along. So he'd be the one I think has the best chance for success um, on a team that has a lot of cap space and and a fairly aggressive uh, mode of operating with with Urban. Urban's not going to sit around. I don't think Urban would have ever come to the NFL unless he was going to a team with a lot of cap space and Trevor Lawrence was the first pick. So he'd be my guess on that, Ramon. Uh, I don't think that's a hard guess. I think a lot of guys would make that guess. Uh, So so what happens? The guy at Buffalo is an awesome player, and now everyone thinks every guy Hmm. from a smaller school can do it. And I always say to guys, how's Carson Wentz doing right now? And Carson, I think, will be fine. But 19 games at that level of competition and only one game this year, it would be hard for me to, to take him. But I, but I would expect in the right situation. Like, I think Lamar's doing fine. Right. I think Lamar is what Lamar is. And he might become a better pocket passer. But that's not his game. To me, when you get guys like this, why would you harness them? Just let them play their game. What you want to teach them is to, and I said this to Lamar one day. We were sitting there. I said, can I give you my thought on your off season?" He goes, yeah, go ahead. I go, just keep studying Russell Wilson's escape techniques. Mm. You know, learn to do what he does. Get down when you can. Get out of bounds when you can. You'll play a long time. You can play a long time with that style if you're smart with your feet. So uh, the reason I ask you about those five is this. The questions around, in my, pers- in, in my uh, own opinion, is 
Uh, can Urban and can also Trevor Lawrence handle what's going to be in front of them in Jacksonville? Meaning there, there's going to be some losses that are going to be taken. Um, as far as them, they're still building. They're still a team that's, that's got to make it through a lot of stuff to get to where they want to. Um, they're, um, Vegas has them as a over on their six and a half wins this year. Do you think a guy like Urban Meyer can handle that type of scrutiny that's going to come his way? I know Trevor Lawrence made his comments the other day. The comments to me, I think, were I, – I didn't think much of them. Just simply, he just said the quiet part out loud. Um, but you yeah. think they can handle that in Jacksonville when they're supposed to be, like you said, he's a once-in-five-year type of quarterback, and Urban is a guy that's always just been a winner when it comes down to it also. Yeah, I think you know, there's a challenge for them, and and there's not a great history of college guys making the move to the NFL and surviving the the ego attack that's on those guys, right? You think of all the guys that come back into this thing, like Saban and and lots of guys. Um, they're not used to the amount of losing. Like in college football, as you know, guys, uh, you lose two games, you're you're out of the national picture basically, mm-hmm. unless you did something remarkable in a conference championship, but. But in pro football, you're at seven losses, you're still in a playoff hunt. And a lot of the guys, I think that's what they have to learn, yeah. the survival of this thing. And and the owner, I think, is a big part of helping here. The owner is is a guy that's going to help Urban Meyer assess, you know, his where he's at and how he's making progress. I think if that team won seven games this year, we'd be – if I was Tennessee, I'd be thinking they're a year away from being a problem for me. Mm. And I think it turns around that fast nowadays. You know, maybe I should say this right here because this is what I, I look at the the personnel picture uh, quite a bit. Yeah, this NFL uh, is is an owner's delight now because we're going to land up with 300 guys on one year contracts this year. Have we had anything but one year contracts in the last three weeks? So no, what's no, that no. say? Yeah. All these cats are going back into next year's free agent pool along with the guys who were scheduled to be free agents. So the, the owners and the GMs are going to sit there and look at, I don't know, 700 guys mm. that, that are vulnerable that will take less money. So I think guys can turn teams around fast uh, when you have all this kind of talent pool. It's way too big, and there's no leverage for the players to get big money. Sounds like the NCAA transfer portal. That's what the- <laughs> now that thing, I, I know. I, I, I'm glad I don't coach college football anymore because it, to think that if you yell at a kid for four seconds, uh, he's transferring. I mean, what? Well, it'd yeah, be hard to coach him. It is. And, and you know what? You bring up something, you speak about one, the free agent side of it, and a bunch of guys are going to be, you know, coming out of college again next year. It's just a whole lot of evaluation that goes into it. We're in a part now where the pandemic has kind of pushed a lot of rules around, kind of moved the league around a little bit too. And that's with this boycotting of OTAs and just – the off-season program. As a guy that's been in the league, scouted, been in the front offices, and just everything to do with the league, how do you think that goes as far as the development of guys, the quality of, of what's to come? And I know last year was very good still. The, the amount of football that was played, all 16 plus the Super Bowl, uh, I thought the level of play was still, still good. But as far as the young guys getting in the building and you got their older veterans saying, hey, we don't want to go in and we're making a collective – uh, uh, agreement to not go in. Also, what does that do for the league and the young guys? Well, I know Bruce Arians said it. Um, I don't know how many guys accept it as gospel truth, but this is hurting the young guys, and maybe that's where you're taking me on this one, Ramon. But I, I thought we put a decent product on the field last year yeah. from a virtual experience. I've talked to Pete Carroll about this many times. He thought the virtual thing w- went good for them. And they felt like they got a lot done. And when the players finally showed up, their readiness level was pretty high, he mm-hmm. thought. So I think I think when you know this is the reality, then you have to deal with it by accepting it and then getting the best out of it. Mm-hmm. I have no problem with a virtual world now. First off, it's optional. Secondly, um, coaches did it to themselves. You were part of it. Yeah. Coaches put you on the field way too much. Everyone wanted to go on that practice field all spring and work you like crazy. And, you know, the players had enough of it. Now, the young guys, I really wish that the CBA would have made some kind of asterisk for rookies, 
and first-year guys that have never started, where they could be allowed in the building. Those guys want to go in and learn. Yeah. What they want is when you start practice in, in late July, they want to be on a half of a level playing field where they kind of know the system. Mm-hmm. If they're just learning the line splits on this play versus they, 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 they get behind too fast, and that's where they get themselves in trouble. And I tell the young guys all the time, I said, yeah, but the good news is this. Everyone's got a salary cap problem at some mm-hmm. level, and they're looking for young, cheap talent. So they're going to give you extra chances. Yeah. But, yeah, I wish the young guys got more time, and I wish they were allowed to. Because someone said this to me yesterday, which is inappropriate. Oh, who's going to cross the line? There is no line. This no. is not a strike. It's not. This is a, volu- this is a voluntary thing they're not volunteering to do. But so the perception by this one guy who's a coach said, and I said to him, I said, man, you're thinking of it the wrong way. Don't fight this. Yeah. It's voluntary, and it's it's remote learning anyway. So just calm down. Now, it, that's what the world is, and it's going to stay that way. Um, mm-hmm. And and when the pandemic's over, the union's going to have a hard time. They can't pull this trick, you know, when there's no pandemic. So right. I think I think we all have to learn that this is probably the way it's going to go. And I had an old line coach. Now you, those guys are. Yeah. They like to coach. <laughs> Every day of the year, because it, but but he called me and said, you know, I'm okay with this. Now that I've been through it once, I'm wow. okay with it. I was nervous last year, but I'm good with it now. They're, they're okay. They're conscientious, and we'll be fine. Now nice. the players. Here's the last one to you. I'm telling you why I'd go in. First off, if I had a workout bonus, I'm going in to get my hundred grand, oh, and yeah. I know a couple guys have to. But secondly, I don't want to get hurt on my dime. And go to the NFI list, and they stop payment on me. Mm-hmm. If I get hurt, I'd like to get hurt in my facility where it's on the club, and I keep my salary. Yeah. Um, just so I was a part of that CBA negotiation also, and that brought that was brought up as far as like one uh, year three guys being able to go in. But of course, like you said, the coaches, and that was a great point that you you had, Pat. Was the coaches kind of did it to themselves? Because even as an older veteran than myself, I would be a guy to stay here in Nashville a little bit longer in phase one, and i just all of a sudden get a text or a call and be like, hey, what's going on? And, you know, again, as you said, it's voluntary, and I think the the idea behind the guys saying their quotation marks boycotting it is because if you give the coaches an inch, they'll take a mile sometimes, and that's just the way the game goes, I think, in every sport. I do, too, and – the smart coaches are de- learning to deal with this in a positive way. Yeah. They're not going to keep fighting it. They're going to realize this is the world we're in. How can I get the most out of the situation I'm in? Just be resourceful in that area. Don't fight it because you're not going to win that way. And voluntary is on top of the CBA with this segment of the year. So yeah. live with it. Interesting to hear two NFL guys talk like Ramon Foster and Pat Kerwin. I've enjoyed sitting here listening. I want to wrap up. With one question about the draft, which is obviously starting in nine days, and that is we've had some big trades leading up, Pat. As we get into round one, do you think the trades continue? Yeah, I do. I think we got a lot of GMs that are trade, not trade happy, but they're trade savvy. And when I was in it, you basically had of the 32 teams, maybe, maybe 10 deal makers. Um, we got a lot more GMs that will pull the trigger on a trade. And they also, a lot of guys have enough cap space to handle a trade. Um, and it's not just picks for picks. It's players for picks. There's a lot of things going on. But there's not a lot of restriction on cap space for some teams up at the top. So they, those guys can make it happen. And I think the relationships, the other part of this is back in the day, GMs didn't get fired a lot. Mm. GMs are on the hot seat all the time now, so they feel the pressure to get a team up and running as quick as possible for their own good. Uh, so guys are willing to take risks and make make decisions that will make the trades happen. So I would be surprised if we have less than five or six trades in the first round. I think you're going to see people moving around because they don't want to admit this, Mike, but people really do draft for need. All right. So they always say the best kind of board. Here's what I tell people on my show. The draft board is a fingerprint. There are no two the same. There's 32 boards that are totally different than the other ones. And so you really are looking for guys that can come and play. Like I look at the, your Titans down there and 
I think it's a lot to ask, but they really should try to get four starters out of the draft. They're not going to get it. They'll get if a, if it's a great draft, they'll get three. Um, but but you have to look around, and if you're two players away, or two spots away from a position of need, let's say for you guys, I'm just going to pick one, a right tackle, um, and you're two picks away, and 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 a guy like Kevin Jenkins, I'm just making this part up, is sitting there, you're going to make a call and move, jump up to, but the most important thing I try to tell listeners is this is the week mm. you start setting up the scenarios for trades. You can't wait till you're on the clock and call a guy cold and go, Hey dude, you want to trade? A lot of guys panic in that mode because they got the decision is too hard to comprehend. But if you call this week and go, look, if the guy I want is there. Um, and the guy you want is gone. Would you be interested in trading with me? Well, what would you give me? Uh, I'll give you a second and a third. Yeah, we would do that. So just call me right after the pick in front of us. And if, and if the guy we want's not there, we would do that deal. So you have to set a couple of those up so you can react on draft day. Great stuff. That Pat Kerwin, awesome. thank you so much for your insight and uh, for what you do all the time, Sirius XM NFL Radio and also CBS Sports. We yes. enjoy you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Take care, boys. Have a good day. Thanks for having me. All right. Love it. That is a gentleman who has sat in the rooms. Yeah. He has been to the pro days. He has put together draft boards. Mm -hmm. He is a confidant of Pete Carroll's. I think everyone comes to realize that from yeah. their time with the Jets. Um, he knows everybody. He talks to everybody. Mm -hmm. And I think the most interesting take to come out of that is his firm belief that Justin Fields will yes. be will be the guy at number three for San Francisco, even with all the Mac Jones Trey Lance smoke. Yes. That and, and the, the last part also was this him talking about how many different variations of the draft they're going to go to and who they're contacting in case my guy is gone. In case my guy is gone. That is, uh, he was speaking from experience right there. Very much so. More coming up. Charles Davis later in the program. Wes Durham, the voice of the Atlanta Falcons, later in the program. The head coach of the University of Tennessee Volunteers, Josh. Heipel at 9 a.m. So much more to go. J Mart and Ramon presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors on 104.5 The Zone. Buck Rising just states the facts. This is not unwarranted praise. These are just the facts. Buck Rising today, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 104.5 The Zone. Hey, it's J Mart Mortgage Investors Group. I've been telling you about them for months, and it's because I know how difficult it can be when you start thinking about that first dream home. Well, MIG, I just trust these guys so very much because of the way they do business. And maybe the best thing that they offer is the home court advantage. It's going to allow you to get into that dream home that you want with less money out of your pocket. You're going to be provided with an exclusive 15-year fixed-rate second mortgage of $7,500, which is going to help you in so very many ways. Listen, it's going to cover your down payment. It's going to help on that. It's going to help with your closing costs. It's going to help with your prepaids. And in some cases, it can even help you with a portion of your insurance costs. Not just for first-time home buyers. They are so good if you are a first-time home buyer. But move-up buyers may also be eligible. I want you to go learn more about the Home Court Advantage program at MIGonline.com. Equal housing lender, license number 109111. Hi, I'm Zach Allen with Buddy Allen Carpet One. So, you adopted a pet. Well, in addition to being the most rewarding, fulfilling, and cuddly decision you've ever made, this bundle of joy has really scratched up your floors. That's where Buddy Allen Carpet One comes in. We've got scratch-resistant floors, and right now, during our Claws and Paws flooring sale, you'll save up to $1,000 and get special financing with approved credit. Come see us in Donaldson or visit us at BuddyAllenCarpetOne.com today. Gupton Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram not only sells great vehicles, they service them as well. Even if you didn't buy your vehicle at Gupton, you'll love their service department. Factory trained specialists at Gupton offer competitive pricing on oil changes, batteries, brake services, new tires, tire rotation, and more. They do a multi-point inspection to make sure your vehicle is running smooth. This is Brent from 3HL. Do what I do. Have your vehicle serviced at Gupton. 3450 Tom Austin Highway, just 30 minutes from downtown Nashville. Be sure to say Brent sent you. It's red. With heated seats. Serious air conditioning. And that uh, little compartment thingy, you know, where you put your sunglasses. You found the perfect car. Now get the perfect loan with Ascend. We've got low rates, flexible terms, 
and you can apply online at ascend.org or at any of our branch locations. I'm going to name her Betty. Auto loans from Ascend Federal Credit Union. Banking without the bank. Ascend is federally insured by NCUA. All loans are subject to credit approval. Mike Keith here. The Gary Ashton team is known for saying don't sell without the intel. That's because they have the best database of properties in Nashville. But it's also because nobody knows this community better. The Gary Ashton team with Remax Advantage knows the people, the neighborhoods, and the spirit of Nashville. That's why Gary's team can get you a guaranteed offer on your home that's also 100% guaranteed Nashville. Guaranteed offer means you could sell your home for top dollar with no cleanings or showings and give your up to 90 days to close so there's plenty of time to find your next home guaranteed nashville means gary's team lives here and loves it here they've served nashville for over 20 years and they're passionate about helping their neighbors and friends if you're thinking about a guaranteed offer get the only one that's also guaranteed nashville to request a no obligation offer call 615-301-1650 or go to garyashton.com today the gary ashton team with rebacks advantage don't sell without the intel Genesis Diamond's first spring sale in two years is here this weekend, and they're holding nothing back. Save up to 35% store-wide. Rings, earrings, bands, bracelets, all on sale. Last year's spring extravaganza was canceled, so they're doubling up this year with bigger discounts and expanded selection. Aggressive financing. Designers are here with their entire collections all on sale. Even certified diamond engagement rings are on sale, so don't miss this. Genesis store-wide spring extravaganza, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. This is Sarah. How can I help? I knew it. I knew it. But I thought it was elves. Uh Uh-oh. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You called last year because you thought our truck team members wear caps to hide their elf ears. But you don't use elves. You use fairies. What makes you say that? I met Charlotte. What a delight. You met Charlotte? First I pointed, then the junk disappeared. But the sparkle sound came a little bit late, so I said... You should probably make that sparkle sound a little bit quicker. And then what happened? And then Charlotte materialized out of thin air and said... Never hesitate to trade your cow for a handful of magic beans. How did you know that? When you give a fairy advice, they have to give you advice in return. I love 1-800-GOT-JUNK. When you want junk to disappear... All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit us at 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. Twinspire Sportsbook is live in Tennessee, and they're coming out of the starting gates with their best offer yet for new players. With one week of risk-free bets up to $1,000, Twinspires is backed by the same team as the Kentucky Derby, bringing over 140 years of excitement and wagering experience. Just download the Twinspires app using promo code FREE1000 to get started. Void where prohibited. For terms and conditions, visit Twinspires.com. Must be 21 and up and physically present in Tennessee to bet. See full terms and conditions at Twinspires.com. For help with a gambling problem, call or text the Tennessee red line 1-800-889-9789. Mortgage interest rates have started to rise. At the Home Loan Expert Office, we are still locking loans in the twos. But you need to lock in now. How much can you save? Let's find out now. TheHomeLoanExpert.com. The Home Loan Expert LLC, NMLS number 1326241. Identity thieves love tax forms with personal info needed to steal your identity. That's why LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. 40 Eastbound at the Hermitage, we've got an accident. Use caution watch for delays. Dickerson Pike, there's a crash north of Hunter's Lane. No problems coming in on 65 or 24. No unusual delays on 440, 840, checking in accident-free. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football. 104.5 The Zone. One zone's 2021 NFL draft coverage sponsored by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Need great health care coverage at an affordable price? Let Farm Bureau Health Plans coach you through it. They've been protecting Tennesseans since 1947. You know what else is sponsored by Farm Bureau Health Plans, Ramon Foster? I'm listening. The official Titans podcast, better known as the OTP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a plug in. Hosted by who? Hosted by Mike Keith and Amy Wells. Who's Mike Keith? <laughs> I- No one really knows. Everyone knows Amy Wells these days. But uh, please subscribe to the OTP. You get some pretty good draft information on that as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty good Titans information. This is J-Mart and Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. I am not J-Mart. I'm Mike Keith. 
With the shameless plug for the OTP, I will pay for that, I know. That's all good. 615-737-1045, at Jmart and Ramon, if you care to tweet at us. Uh, we've been talking about throughout the program, your thoughts on who you want for the Titans at number 22. Keep them coming. A lot of great mm-hmm. suggestions. Also, some news out this morning. Ian Rappaport says Daquan Jones is on his way to Carolina to visit with the Panthers and most probably sign with the Panthers. I was really hoping he came came back. I was too, but it's money. It's the business. It's the business. His minimum might fit the the salary cap situation, man. Well, it's it's all about Daquan Jones – is a victim of this year's situation yep. with the salary cap dropping by $16 million per team. Yep. It's a bunch of quality guys that are still out there, too, that are going through the same situation. And how many quality guys are going to be out there in week two of the NFL season when salaries are not guaranteed? Yeah. If you are not on the roster for the first game. For a veteran. For a vested veteran. Yeah, for a vested veteran. Three plus three games. Three years and three games. Three years and three games. Yep. If you are not a vested veteran, your salary is not guaranteed, and thus you are paid week yes. to week. And for a rookie young guy, let's say uh, probably seven rounder or undrafted rookie. Mm-hmm. They're not vested. Correct. So if you cut them after week one, you can bring them back on a non-guaranteed contract deal also. That's how it works. So as to your point, it'll be a bunch of veterans that honestly go through all of camp unsigned. But come week two, we're going to see a lot of movement. That's that's when teams are really shored up, right? And some of those guys will sit out because they will say better off to be a free agent and not get hurt in a training camp on a team that I might not make. Oh, yeah. Knowing that I'm going to get a call and have a stat line that's 100% injury rate right? as far as players in the league. You're going to leave with some type of injury, some type of capacity. I don't care if it's the punter. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. I hate calling punters. It's a specialist. Maybe the only good thing that could come out of Daquan Jones is something good that could come out of Jadevian Clowney signing elsewhere, and that's maybe a comp pick in 2022. Yeah. Exactly. That's what you want, man. Again, we uh, had Pat Kerwin on here, and that's what he was talking about a little bit in that call to us. Teams are just looking for the future when it comes down to these picks, when it comes down to the draft, when it comes down to the cap. There's a lot of movement to be made in years down the line. Uh, It's just a matter of who's still positioning themselves and trying to get guys out of this draft. We heard him say the Titans should get three starters out of this draft. I think they need to. I I think the Titans are in a position right now knowing Mm -hmm. that they are going to be tight against the cap. Because, listen, and you saw this in Pittsburgh. Yeah. When you're a good team, you're tight against the cap every year. You don't have a year where you have $80 million available. No. That's the bad team. I mean, the 2-14s the give you a chance to, to get $80 million under the cap. <laughs> when you've been successful, you re-sign Taylor Lewan. You yeah. re-sign Kevin Byard. You re-sign Ryan Tannehill. Mm-hmm. You re-sign Derrick Henry. Yes. And people say, well, why don't you have more money available? Well, don't you want to keep some of the good players who made you a good team? Yes, you do. Again. But so. this year, you've got to you've got to find some draft picks. It's yep. like it's like this pick at number 22. Most of the people who are tweeting at us are saying wide receiver. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fun. And I, like I don't that. and I don't disagree, but a tackle might make a lot more sense. You could. 100%. A corner might make even more sense. Yeah. And now that's not as fun. Nah. No offense, offensive line. You know what? That's the life we live. I know. That's the life we live. I know. And I don't but, I don't mean to hurt you. No, and you know what, Mike? There's not many things you can do, man, to hurt me. So when you say that with all your experience, and just again, we speak about your prestige and being a Hall of Famer, although you don't like that. No. I, I respect your, your your call on that one. That's true. We live a dark life. I'm as more offensive I'm more offensive line like in that. You sense. are yes. You are just. Fly. I'm a miniature offensive lineman. <laughs> <laughs> a miniature. We're gonna put you in pads and put a 77 on you. That's <laughs> it. That would look great. You couldn't even. You, one of the sevens would go around to the side. So you'd be like the lotto, the the, 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 the jackpot machine. That's just, exactly right. That would be your numbers. That's a hundred percent correct. Oh, I'm not afraid. Man. The slot I wore, machine. I wore single digits when I played. You so. know they gave that to only athletes, right? That's correct. Would, would you want to see Derek Henry in a single digit? Yes. 
Oh, I, I'm all about this. Vrabel hey. gives me the business. I'm up, I'm about uniforms. I'm about numbers. I want to see pass rushers in single yeah. digits. I mean, when Leonard Little wore number one at Tennessee. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Even Al Wilson wearing 27. Yes. That and uh, – you know what I do hate, though? Not Duplicate hate. numbers. Well, I that. hate duplicate numbers. But I hate seeing any broadcaster D- hates duplicate yeah. numbers. Yes, I, I I hate watching D lineman with like a twenty two on. Like, come on. Well, man. some of them. It's like Shy Tuttle. I I thought Shy Tuttle was a really good player at Tennessee, but that two that he, he wore up there, I, that was the most stretched out two in the history of mankind. They had to it burn did, it. It did not look good. Oh, no. It, it, just, it looked like it was – I couldn't even tell what number it was. It was so stretched out. It's it, like, you know – but if you're sleek – Yeah. Oh, like Leonard Little was? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, or – I'm taking that. Yeah, that looks good. Oh. Anyway, we've gone too long. We have. So much more to come. Two more hours of Jay Mart and Ramon presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. We look forward to having you join us at 615-737-1045 or tweet us at Jmart and Ramon. Who should the Titans take at 22? We want to hear from you. We'll ask Charles Davis that very question coming up on 1045 The Zone. If we could get you the information any quicker, we'd be predicting the future. We are the fastest. We are the firstest. Yeah, I just said the firstest. Ask Alexa to play 1045 The Zone. Hillside Medical Clinic, I want you all to listen up. If you've been struggling with ED, guys, I've got great news for you. Finally, a treatment for ED that does not require pills, injections, or surgery. A medical breakthrough. And to tell you more about the services of Hillside Medical Center, we're joined by Andrew Reinhardt. Andrew, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yes, if there's anybody out there struggling with erectile dysfunction, we have something different. It's not a pill. Thank goodness. It's called acoustic wave therapy, and it's clinically proven to open up and regrow blood vessels. That is what erectile dysfunction is. It's a blood flow problem, so that's what we're taking care of. We have helped so many guys turn back the clock in the bedroom, get rid of the ED, and get rid of the need to take the pill. And right now, Hillside Medical Clinic is offering a free exam and consultation $500 $500 value, all free. Andrew, that's a great deal from Hillside Medical Center. It really is. We know that guys are a little skeptical and sensitive when it comes to this, and generally there's a lot of guys suffering in silence. Call us now. Put a stop to the erectile dysfunction. Like you said, the assessment, the exam, the blood flow ultrasound will do that free, plus a little gift that produces immediate results in the bedroom. You'll love that. And, yes, it's worth hundreds of dollars. Uh, Call us right now during this segment. It's all totally free. Here's the phone number for you to call. It is 615-576-5000. 615-576-5000. Hillside Medical Clinic, 615-576-5000. Andrew Reinhart, have a great day. Thank you. You too. This is Boomer Science with the CBS Sports Minute. Sponsored by NetSuite by Oracle. Receive your free product tour right now at netsuite.com slash golf. If you noticed I'm in a great mood this morning, that's because not only is it a glorious spring day here in New York, it's also an incredible time to be a fan of the three local teams I've loved since boyhood, the Mets, Rangers, and Knicks. The Mets are in first place. The Rangers now have won four straight and appear to be in the playoff hunt. And the Knicks, well, they're technically the NBA's hottest team. Their six-game winning streak has them currently tied with Boston, half a game behind fourth place Atlanta. Mind you, it's still early for the Mets, and the Rangers and the Knicks have their work cut out for them. But for this one day at least, my favorite teams have put me in sports nirvana. Honestly, folks, I never thought I'd ever say that. I'm Boomer Esiason. Introducing Fidelity Income Planning. We look at how much you've saved, how much you'll need, and help you build a straightforward plan to generate income, even when you're not working. A plan that gives you the chance to grow your savings and create cash flow that lasts. Plus, you can start, stop, or adjust your plan at any time. Talk to us today so we can help you go from saving to living. Fidelity Brokerage Services, member NYSC, SIPC. 
Come celebrate Lowe's first annual Spring Fest with a Charbroil Performance 5 Burner Grill was $249, now $199. And Style Selection 7-Piece Pelham Bay Dining Set was $219, now $199. Create a new dining experience this Spring Fest. A festival of fun and savings for your garden and total home, in-store or online. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Dining set offer valid through 5-5. Grill offer valid to 421. While supplies last, selection varies by location. Patio accessories sold separately, U.S. only. If you're looking for flooring and you absolutely positively have to know you're getting the best price, the choice is clear. At Buy Floors Direct, we buy direct from the factory in massive quantities and sell direct to you from our huge, clean warehouse without retail markups. The decor stores and home centers have expensive retail locations, fancy displays, and middleman costs, and that means you'll pay more. Come in and see why contractors and designers buy their flooring at a Buy Floors Direct warehouse. These pros are always telling us how our quality floors are priced far lower than the retail stores. Our warehouses are full of tile, hardwood, laminate, waterproof floors, and everything you need to install them, including friendly advice. Go to buyfloorsdirect.com or visit a Buy Floors Direct warehouse because there's no reason to ever pay retail for flooring. A reading from the Golden Oak Lending Book of Mortgage Lingo. What is Zipline? It's Golden Oak's fast and easy online mortgage tool that leaves you with more time to plan a family movie night. I get to pick the movie. And clean up the popcorn you weren't planning on sharing. Okay. At Golden Oak Lending, we speak mortgage and love translating it. Right now, rates are at a record low 1.875%. Visit goldenoaklending.com to use Zipline. NMLS 114937, 1.875% fixed, 2.913% APR, FHA 15-year mortgage with 20% equity and approved credit. I'm Mick McGoran from One Hour, and spring is the best time to rejuvenate your AC with a maintenance plan I call... Mick's Trifecta. Wait a minute, Ryan. Naming it after me? Of course, Mick. Your spring AC maintenance package protects your system three ways. I don't like to draw attention to myself. That's crazy. You're a natural. You think so? The camera loves you, Mick. This is radio, Ryan. So tell us why Mick's Trifecta is such a great service. First, your system is completely cleaned on the inside. Perfect. Then what? Every moving part loops so it runs smooth. Perfect. And then? Your system is tuned and calibrated to factory specs. Perfect. Running at maximum efficiency. And all this for only... 133. Okay, Ryan, I guess we can call it Mix Trifecta. OneHourMix.com Always on time, or you don't pay a dime. Make your appointment for Mix Trifecta. Guaranteed three ways. Good idea on the name, Ryan. Maybe I'll keep you around a bit longer. Independently owned and operated. Fleet Cards USA. Looking for an easy way to manage expenses and cash flow? Get Fuel Cards. They're the easy way to get additional credit to help run your business. Plus, our reporting and analytics could save you even more. Go to FleetCardsUSA.com, answer a few questions, and hi-ho, you're good to go. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. 40 eastbound at the Hermitage, an accident's been moved to the left shoulder. Use caution. Dickerson Pike, we've got a crash north of Hunter's Lane. Watch for emergency crews on the scene. No problems coming in on 24 or 65. No unusual delays on 440. This report brought to you by Tennessee 811. From Bristol to Memphis, if you have a digging project this spring, always call 811 first. Breaking utility lines is dangerous and can be deadly. No matter how big or small, one easy call to 811 alerts the utilities to mark their underground lines near your dig site. Call 811. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football, 104.5 The Zone. From the Mark Spain Real Estate Studios, this is your Titans NFL Draft Station. WGFX Gallatin, Nashville. Trending now at 104.5 The Zone. It is 8.02. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Schaefer. According to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, the Panthers are hosting former Titans defensive tackle Daquan Jones on a visit they are expected to sign him to a one-year deal. National Predators defeated Chicago Blackhawks 5-2 last night. Fred snapped a two-game losing streak. The Predators remain in fourth place in the Central Division with a playoff spot. ESPN's Chris Lowe reports that former Michigan quarterback Joe Milton is planning to transfer to Tennessee, not official as of yet. Milton was a starter for the Wolverines in 2020, passing for over 1,000 yards in five starts, but was replaced in Michigan's final game of the season. Spent, he has three years of eligibility remaining. And Gonzaga freshman guard Jalen Suggs entering the 2021 NBA draft at a historic performance in an overtime Final Four victory over UCLA, including a now legendary buzzer-beating three-pointer to win that game. 
Breaking news at once on your home for the Titans and the Vols. This is 104.5 The Zone. Do I have everybody's attention now? Now it's time for Jason Martin and Vol for Life, Ramon Foster. Powered by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. Together, they are J-Mart and Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. Hour number three, J-Mart and Ramon. Ramon Foster is here. Jason Martin is not. I'm Mike Keith sitting in for him. Taking calls at 615-737-1045 at J-Mart and Ramon via the Twitter. West Durham. We'll talk about the Atlanta Falcons at 920 this morning. University of Tennessee head football coach Josh Heupel at 9 o'clock. So that's an hour away. We're about 15 minutes away from Charles Davis from NFL Network Mm. and CBS to talk draft. And we've asked you all morning if you could make the pick at number 22 for the Titans. Who do you want? 615-737-1045 at Jmart and Ramon. Ramon, we've gotten many fantastic, insightful answers. Oh, yeah. From the zone listenership. Smart smart crowd, man. Smart crowd. Very smart crowd. Smart I marks. Looking, I was looking through some stuff. We were talking about the jersey changes. Schaefer put up the picture of me polling that all you should vote on at J. Martin Ramon on Twitter. And he asked a question about Derrick Henry. Wearing should he switch digits. to two? Yes. If the NFL allows it. By the way, there's a bunch of guys. Well, it's going to go through. Yeah, they're lobbying for it, man. And, I'm, of course, the offensive linemen were still 50 to 79. That's okay, too. But, of course, we talked about people d linemen of just skill positions wearing single digits. And the Leonard Little stand over at Auburn is phenomenal, man. And, again, if you're going to be a single-digit, low-digit number guy, you better be a bad man. And just speaking and you gotta of look Leonard. It. You got to look it. Like Derrick Henry looks yeah. oh, it. You, oh, you got to look you it. You got to look it. Oh, I, yes. I mean, you know, you know. <laughs> Heavy guy in a single. It's in the not single, good. Warren Sapp wearing like nine. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like Tommy Boy with the little coat. It doesn't Bad work. You know guy. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In a little coat. In a little coat. Yeah, that that doesn't work. No, absolutely not. Imagine you've got to be svelte. I, you've got to be. I got one J- for you. Javon Curse had he worn He'd one, w- one or, or nine, five. Oh, oh. I, well, might uh, I might cry. I might cry. Imagine, uh, imagine Albert Hainsworth wearing two. I don't know about that. <laughs> Love <laughs> Albert, but no, no, I, no, uh, no. Uh, that not, two would be very stressed. That would be a, that two would be in pain. That two would be <laughs> with a lot of people that he hurt on the offensive side of the That's ball. That's true. Too. I mean, he's great. Yeah, yeah. There's no I, doubt I, about I love that. that guy, but I, no. No. It, you better be justified is all we're saying, right? Yes. Like Big Jeff, I think he could do it. I, I, like a six. A six An with Jeff. Eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, but eight. He, I give him eight. But he's a borderline. He got to continue to work out is what He's got to continue to work out. There it is, and as we does. all do. He does. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, we've, uh, we've covered a lot of football. It's uh, been great to hear from you uh, via Twitter at Jmart and Ramon, and we appreciate all the comments this morning and all of the phone calls and all of the people you have suggested that the Titans should draft. Mm-hmm. I think we're ready to go back to the phones now. Let's uh, get Calvin calling from Cheatham County. Cheatham County. Home of the Cubs. Home of the Cubs. Uh, the Cubs <laughs> there in Ashland City. Hello, Calvin. What's Welcome up, Calvin? to 104.5 The Zone. Thanks for taking my call, Mr. Keith. First time calling the uh, Ramona Foster Show. Uh, I'm going to go with Kendarius Tony. I think that's how you say his first name. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, I know they say he's got maybe a bad rap, but, I mean, with uh, with as strong-minded and stubborn as Brable is, I don't think he's going to put up with any uh, any foolishness, man. And he has Tyree Kill all over him, and I think uh, somebody like that in the slot can replace both Janu and Court. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great. That great was assessment. your guy. That was yeah. your guy, Kadarius Tony. Kadarius Tony. Again, I mentioned too, and you made up a good point about you know drafting defense also. But I, I, I think these wide receivers this year and probably years to come, because the way the game has changed, you're gonna find your Kadarius Tonys, your Elijah Moore's, your guys who are very dynamic that you can get at those spots at like 22, maybe second round also. And again, it goes down, it goes back to Todd Downing and his offense also. He's got to add his wrinkle onto it. 
we went through a transition in Pittsburgh between Bruce Arians and going to uh, Todd Haley. We kept the nucleus together. The core of it stayed the same. The runs were good. All of that was fine. Ben and his game was fine, but it was the point then where Todd came and said, hey, we're going to mix in along with the deep ball as you guys do, and we see Bruce Aaron still doing that with uh, Tom Brady in Tampa, with, with, uh, with, with Byron Leftwich calling the calls also. But what we transitioned to was more short game. Let the athletes get in space. You get a guy like Kadarius Toney who with, with Ryan Tannehill that's able to play action and hit him with a slant the same way he's done with A.J. for so long, or a guy that can take the top off again, and A.J. can do it. You just add a bunch of tools. You add a wrinkle to this Okay, offense. I get that. Yeah? But let's let's flip it for just a second. I'm with you. Let's and, go. And in our last hour, Pat Kerwin says you draft for now and you draft for need, and he's 100% yeah. right. And, and I agree. Yeah. But – Look at who you might be able to get in the second round. I'm listening. Rashad Bateman from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Tutu Atwell from Louisville. Rondale Moore from Purdue. Yeah. Maybe the fastest man in the draft, Anthony Schwartz from Auburn. Mm. And some of these are later. Yeah. You know, some some of these are beyond round two. Uh, Schwartz is probably round three. Uh, Tylen Wallace from Oklahoma State. Nico Collins, Michigan. Dwayne Eskridge from Western Michigan. Yeah. They got Amari Rogers from, from Clemson. Clemson. Tennessee ties. Shai Smith from South Carolina. Kate Johnson from South Dakota State. You Dayami it. Brown from North Carolina. Remember, the Titans yes. have, have a pick at 85 and have 100. a pick at 100. Yes. So and I, there are 17 receivers. Mm-hmm who are listed in the top 96 players of of ESPN's top 100. Right. And that's the Todd McShay list. Okay. So you're saying it's there. There's no reason to reach for a wide receiver. I'm saying I love Kadarius Toney. Yes. I'm saying I love Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddell and Elijah Moore and Terrence Marshall. I'm saying yes. And I'm saying if they're nine. Yeah. Let's say they're a nine. Uh Uh-huh. If I can wait another round or two and get an eight or an eight and a half, yeah, and I can take a player of more immediate need mm-hmm. at twenty two, like a corner, where there are fewer top end corners yeah. than there are top end wide receivers in this draft, yes, then maybe that's a better pick. It not, could be. Maybe not as sexy. Yeah, it could be. But I, I again I feel like with the moves they made in free agency. And, again, there are some holes that's got to be picked up when it comes down to it. I, I just like those guys. Just looking at this list of, of cornerbacks that you've just laid out so great of the top 100, again, Patrick Satan, you expect to be gone. Gone. J.C. Horn? Probably. Probably. Caleb Farley? Maybe not. Because of the back issue? Which is the same thing it's, Steve McNair had. And I'll say this, too. Most athletes have some type of issue with – they're back from just lifting, playing the game. You got to think this is a compression type of game when you hit. You know, it's, there's a lot that goes into it. A lot People of guys come back that. from what yes, he had 100%. done. Yeah. The quality, though, you but see. But you could get Asante Samuel in the second yeah, round. Yeah, Junior, by the way. Wow. Yeah. Pedigree. I I, I, hard to believe. I mean, they're, they're a bunch of corners. Sean Wade is the one that's really got the most interest to me out of Ohio State. Okay. Because he had a great year in the slot in 2019. Mm-hmm. Came back from an injury, was not fully healthy, and did not play great on the outside in 2020. But he, if he's the right fit, he might be a steal for somebody. That's why, again, lying season, man. We'll see what's going to happen. Let's get Chris's call here before we need to get to break. Chris, we are so glad to have you with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. J. Martin Ramon on 104.5 The Zone, 615-737-1045. Who do the Titans take at 22, Chris? Oh, hey, guys. Um, I have a really interesting idea, okay. um, but it's actually not my idea. Okay. I want to see what you guys thought about uh, Brent, Brent Darty's idea to trade the entire draft to go and draft Kyle Pitts. Um, and uh, Mike Keith, the answer, I think you're awesome. Thank you, Chris. And, and the next time that we see you over at our Culver's here in Franklin, uh, I'll give you a free food. There you go. Hey. Love that. Love the Culver's. You got a free meal out of I don't of know this. about that, but I do, I, do, <laughs> I do love the custard. It's no secret. I drive by the Culver's uh, each day just to see what the flavor of the day is. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you so much. First of all, Brent, 
we're not trading the whole Rip, map. Come I, on. And I've yeah. heard him too. Yeah, he needs to stop that. That's just that's <laughs> that's crazy talk. I've heard Brent and he Brent. I think Brent Brent, Brent was trained well. He was trained by good people. <laughs> he knows good people. He has a lovely family. <laughs> yes. He comes from a good place. He's so he's such a smart young man and, and such a talent. And, yeah. and he's one of my favorite people. Brent, stop doing stop. that. You stupid idiot. Dawn, just reach over and whack him one. Please. Please. Just Please. Kn- knock a little sense into the young fella. Uh, because that is uh, no. He's been about a month in on this stuff. Oh well, he needs to stop. It's <laughs> it's just it doesn't make any sense, and nobody's buying it, and it's just it's a it's just a, a, you're, what you said. It's impossible at this point. Well, you, know, you the Titans are not doing that because the Titans are at a point where, as Pat Kerwin said last hour, they need multiple oh, starters to come out of this draft. Yes, I agree. And I and I'm not trading the whole draft for a tight end. And look look how trading the whole draft worked out to get a running back in Ricky Williams. Yeah. Not great. Not great, Bob. Not great, Brent. Not great, Bob. Not great, Brent. Bob. I've heard him say it and I've really just you know the head nod since we got we got one of we got zone TV just Okay, Brent. I, I got a bridge in Brooklyn also. Oh gosh. So much. <laughs> So please don't do that. I, I heard that the other day. I nearly drove off the road as I was going by Culver's and noticed they had the Oreo triple. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. We need a break. We need a break. I need, Brent, basically, I need we're done Culver's. with Brent right now. Well, Let's, I'm not done with Brent. Okay. I love Brent. I've known Brent a long time. I go back a long time. But I continue to have faith in him except in those moments. By the way, he's our celebrity DJ on Friday. That's oh. tremendous. What does he trade everything in for one song? <laughs> J. Mart and Ramon, all Wait, four seasons, oh, yeah. garage doors. When trust matters, it's probably something by Dan Fogelberg too. <laughs> when trust matters, you can count on all four seasons, garage doors in Nashville. <laughs> Professional garage door installation and repair from a family-owned and operated business. Longer than. Visit all four seasons, garage doors.com slash Nashville to learn more. Even Titans head coach Mike Vrabel thinks Buck Rising having a show on the zone is fantastic. Get a new job, Buck? I am. I'm technically on the radio right now. So That's we're fantastic, on the radio. man. Congratulations. I appreciate that. Buck Rising, today, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 104.5 The Zone. Hey, it's Schaefer with J-Mart and Ramon. Baseball players may not get style points for home runs, but baseball bettors do. New BetMGM customers can turn $1 into $100 when someone goes yard during a game. Sign up for the BetMGM app using Schaefer100, and if you place a $1 money line wager on the Braves or Yankees, you'll get $100 if either team hits a home run. And after the baseball has left the park, there's no reason to leave your seat. Discover BetMGM's innovative parlay selection builders, daily promotions, boost and odd specials, and more. Download the app or go to betmgm.com and use bonus code SHAFER100 to win $100 when you bet on the Braves or Yankees and either team hits a home run. Swing for the fences with BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. New customer offer. Paid in free bets. Must be 21 years or older. Must be in Tennessee to bet. Visit betmgm.com for full list of terms and conditions. For problem gambling support, call the Tennessee Red Line, 800-889-9788. Genesis Diamond's first spring sale in two years is here this weekend, and they're holding nothing back. Save up to 35% store-wide. Rings, earrings, bands, bracelets, all on sale. Last year's spring extravaganza was canceled, so they're doubling up this year with bigger discounts and expanded selection. Aggressive financing. Designers are here with their entire collections all on sale. Even certified diamond engagement rings are on sale, so don't miss this. Genesis store-wide spring extravaganza, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Genesis Diamond Spectacular Spring Extravaganza is here this weekend. Three days of phenomenal savings store-wide. You save up to 35% off Genesis already guaranteed best prices. Rings, pendants, earrings, bracelets, bands, and more. Plus special financing. This event was canceled last year.
here. So we're making it bigger than ever this year. With twice the selection and double the savings. Get sale prices on all new designer jewelry and GIA certified diamonds. This Friday through Sunday only and only at Genesis Diamonds. Green Hills and Cool Springs. On approved credit. If you're thinking about selling your home this spring, now is the time. Hey, this is Don Davenport from 3HL. And when it comes to selling your home, experience matters. The Wall Street Journal ranked Mark Spain Real Estate number one in the U.S. for closed transactions for the third year in a row. So if you need to sell your home, they can help you today. And when you call them, they respond fast. 855-299-SOLD is the number. Sell your home hassle-free and skip the constant cleaning, repairs, and all the stress that goes with it. The guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate gives you an opportunity to receive an all-cash offer and close in as little as 21 days. And their offers are the strongest in the industry. They've been in the business for over 25 years, Trust me, they've served over 25,000 families. They know what matters most. A quick sale, maximum profit. No showings, no open houses, no stress. It's simple. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today. MarkSpain.com and start packing. My boyfriend proposed with his grandmother's ring. It's stunning, but I just wasn't sure what wedding band would work with it. So we went to Shane Company to look at their huge selection. We knew we'd have a ton of options. The jewelry consultant helping us had a lot of great suggestions. She showed me different wedding bands that would work with my ring. Vintage bands, contour bands, floral bands. She had ideas I hadn't even thought of. I ended up getting two decorative diamond bands. They frame my heirloom ring beautifully, and the new bands give it an updated, elegant look with even more sparkle. I love it. My fiancé needed his wedding band, too. After looking at all the classic styles, like 14 karat gold and platinum, It was actually a band in a unique metal called tantalum that caught his eye. It's rugged and durable and totally fits his style. Shane Company made it so easy and fun for us to shop for our wedding bands. Now we're all set for the big day. Now you have a friend in the jewelry business, Shane Company and ShaneCo.com. At All American Pest Control. We believe in making someone's day. We believe in helping customers. With more than just bugs. We believe in giving our team the responsibility and authority to do what's best for the customer on the spot. We believe in loving, supporting, and encouraging each other. We believe in family. What do you believe? At All American Pest Control, we believe that you can believe in us. 615-209-9929. Or learn more at our website. Yuckbugs.com. Is your company hiring? We can help. Invest in your workforce at (laughs) tnjobfair.com. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. East 40 westbound at Bradley Parkway. An accident blocks the left shoulder. Use caution. 14th Avenue north at Charlotte Avenue. We've got an accident. And Dickerson Pike north of Hunter's Lane. There's a crash with emergency crews on the scene. This report brought to you by U.S. Foods. Attention CDLA truck drivers. U.S. Foods is having a hiring event Saturday, April 24th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 98 Terminal Court in Nashville. $7,500 sign-on bonus and great benefits. For more information, call 847-268-5956. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football, 104.5 The Zone. J. Mart and Ramon, 615-737-1045. At J. Mart and Ramon on Twitter, I have just confirmed with Brent Dougherty that he did indeed say that about trading the entire Titans draft to move up and get Kyle Pitts. Duh. Brent. That is a demerit. Yes. I love I love Brent. I do, too. Awesome. I, I disagree with him. Someone else that I truly love, longtime friend, talent, mm. great vol player, Charles Davis, welcome to 104.5 The Zone. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. It's good to talk with both of you. And I start with you, Mike Keith, um, first and foremost, Tennessee Sports Hall of Famer, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. So happy for you. So well deserved. Thank you. Um just can't 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 form enough words for that. So I won't take all the extra time here, but I hope you understand how I feel about you and, and, and your accomplishments. And Ramon, you're just just crushing it, man. Just absolutely crushing it. I really appreciate you coming on the radio with me a few weeks ago and 
breaking things down and, and continuing to represent us who, who wore orange. So we, we definitely appreciate that because you're doing a fantastic job. And last but not least, Mikey, don't you have enough to do? And now you're doing this as well. I'm just filling in for Jason Martin. They've told me they I mean, said you goodness. can stay, you can stay two days, then you need to leave. So I'm leaving <laughs> no. after today. Uh, but it's been fun sitting in the chair and, you know, kind of going over this thing. We've talked a lot about the NFL draft yes, and a, a lot of it. Now you, it would take the whole segment to lay out every job that Charles Davis has right we now. Tried. It's it's really incredible. But the main thing we're focusing on at this moment is you are prepping to be part of NFL Network's coverage. And yes. how, how hard is it to prep for this draft compared to other ones when you have worked television? You know, I think that it'd be an interesting question across the board for the people who are involved because I think we all come at it from different directions. And let me try and break it down very quickly. Those who do it full time, right? Mm -hmm. Daniel Jeremiah, uh, Bucky Brooks from NFL Network, um, you know, Todd McShay, Mel Kuyper, ESPN, you know, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Year round, they may have a few other things they do, like Daniel calls the Chargers games on on radio for for, for the Chargers mm-hmm. radio broadcast group. But I'm saying this is your job, day in day out. That was tough enough in a year where we had COVID. Not everyone played. Kids opted out. You're going back to 19 and 18 for tape. You know things of that nature. Now you bring in people like me who call games full time on the NFL level trying to keep up with college football, no combine. I couldn't go to senior bowl, fortunately, because I had some assignments with CBS, no East West game. See for all of us, that's kind of the kickoff to things that gets us going again. And your normal college season, there's some osmosis. You watch college football, you hear names, you see things, you catch things this year. As you guys know, how many times did you tune in to watch a game? And then realized it was postponed Mm. yeah, or canceled, right? How many times did you say, God, is the Pac-12 going to play this year? Yeah. And they, you know, it's not until November. So it's just a little bit different that way. And I realize I sound like I'm starting my, my wine and cheese, you know, dance (laughs) here. And it's not bad at all. It is just different. And it just meant that you got to do a little more digging and, and all that. So if I screw up, it's still on me. It's not on anyone else. But this is a year that's been unusual for everyone, as we well know. Yeah, uh, the, the, this year has been unusual for a lot of different ways. Reasons just simply because navigating the pandemic, as you said, and just a, a bunch of ins and outs. But the, I guess the, the thing for me is the most unusual thing of it all. It is these quarterback prospects. It's the thing that everybody <laughs> wants to talk about. And even though there will be four potentially in the first four picks, that doesn't necessarily mean they're the, uh, the, the, the best four in this draft. I think a lot of people yeah. would probably say Kyle Pitts is number two. How do you look at this quarterback group when we're breaking it down? And I know it's the position of importance when you're talking about changing the organization around. Like, we, we had this – Mike Keith and I had this conversation yesterday about the importance of, of who in an NFL organization is usually the quarter, well, ownership and then quarterback, depending on who the head coach yeah. is. Yeah, very, very, very true. And, and Ramon, for me, trying to break down these quarterbacks, as we well know, it's 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 it seems like there's five that's in a consensus that are going to be first rounders. Mm-hmm. But as you said, that doesn't necessarily mean they're the best players. I think I think a strong argument can be made that Kyle Pitts is the best player in the draft. Wow. Yeah. You can make another strong argument that the best defender is Micah Parsons from Penn State, who opted out last year. You know, you hear things about, you know, off field, this, that, and everything, but you turn on his tape and you just lose your mind. So you can push that, but quarterbacks, as you pointed out, they they, they have a place that's, that's higher than anyone else's. Coach, quarterback, they're aligned. When we think of the greatest quarterbacks who have ever played, don't you naturally think of their head coach too and what their alignment was? Yeah. Bill Walsh and Joe Montana, Bill, you know, I mean, you know, you look at Bart Starr and Vince Lombardi, heck, even Chuck Noll and Terry Bradshaw, even though Terry Bradshaw, you know, to this day is not a Chuck Noll fan, but they are aligned because they won championships together. For me, here's how I look at it, Ramon. My top quarterback's Trevor Lawrence. Boy, there's a real shocker. Okay. That's stunning to everyone, right? My two is Zach Wilson. My three is Justin Fields. My four is Trey Lance. My five is Mac Jones. This talk about Mac Jones going three to San Francisco, 
is a fit thing. It's a Kyle Shanahan. If, if, if he believes he's the best guy for his court, for his uh, offense, that's how it goes. In any other situation, I don't think Mac Jones goes ahead of Justin Fields or Trey Lance. And not because Mac Jones isn't a good quarterback, but everything Mac Jones can do, the other guys can do, and their athleticism is even better. And in today's football, like how many times Mike Keith would tell you, when you sit with a coordinator, an offense coordinator, mm-hmm. if we had a dollar, Ramon, for every time an offense coordinator told us, you know, we want our quarterback to pick up at least one first down this game with his legs, mm. Mike and I would have quit a long time ago. <laughs> long time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But but what we're having now is we don't. I'm not getting that as much. You know why, Mike and Ramon? Wow. Because it's almost a given. Okay that we have quarterbacks who can get that first down with their legs. It's not a new thing. It's not an unusual deal. And yeah. that's what Fields gives you. That's what Lance gives you, that Mac Jones can give you, but not at the same rate. So that's where it comes down to. So I really think if Mac Jones doesn't go three to San Francisco, guys, it would be interesting to see where he lands. All right, let me stop it's not, you. It's not, it's not, real quick, it's not a lock at Denver at 9. It's not no, a lock no, at no. England at 15. Yeah. He could slide, and it could be interesting. Okay, wow. so that's what I wanted to ask you <clears throat> because I, I think that's the one. He could start tumbling and could take quite a tumble because he doesn't fit what other people want. Yeah. Can, can you realistically see him getting beyond – 15 in New England, or is is that where you think he ends up if he does tumble? I think that he could get past 15 at New England just because when is New England taking a first round quarterback? They've mm. taken quarterbacks, but they don't take them in the first round. Yeah, it's back to Drew you know, Bledsoe, isn't it? <laughs> right, you got to go back there, and that wasn't this ownership group. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it, it wasn't this head coach. Garoppolo was a second round guy. Now, they've taken plenty of quarterbacks. Jacoby Brissett was taken by them. You know, you can go right down the line. Um, Kevin O'Connell, you know. Yeah. But and the bottom line is they haven't been high draft picks. They haven't really been seen as the future. Garoppolo was as close as you got, obviously, but before they dealt him to San Francisco. So I could see that happening. Truthfully, if I were Mac Jones, I'd root for two things. If I'm not going to go to three to San Francisco and the tumble actually does begin, if somehow I got past New England at 15, I'd root for Pittsburgh at 24, and I'd root for for Tampa Bay at 32. Wow, yeah. Because both places, you may not play as a rookie, but there's a good chance you're going to play sooner rather than later. And with organizations that, are, that have established really good rosters and will always have good organizations. Pittsburgh, we're talking about Pittsburgh retooling. When's the last time we really thought Pittsburgh was bad? When they're bad, they're eight and eight. Well, and the point yeah. that you the point that you that's the problem there. The point you make about Pittsburgh is really interesting because just announced Mike Tomlin a new three year contract with the Steelers, yeah. taking him forward through twenty twenty four, which gives you the idea they're going to keep some stability in place mm-hmm. as they head yep. into the transition, which might make a lot of sense. I mean, Pittsburgh could deal up to get Mac Jones if he starts to fall based on the yep. fact that they're looking towards the next chapter. It, it, it makes tons of sense, Charles. It absolutely does. And if there, if there's going to have to be a deal up Pittsburgh, better keep a wary eye on new Orleans. Oh, okay. Cause you got, you got Jameis resigned You got Taysom Hill and I'll just say it as, as best I can. <laughs> We keep hearing out of New Orleans that Taysom Hill is their guy and he's their future. And how many times have you heard, you know, even Sean Payton say it? Yeah. Hey, Taysom Hill is Steve Young. He's Steve Young. If he's Steve Young, you give him the job. Oh, yeah. 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 It's well, done, right? Hasn't been done. So, in other words, I think they're still open for business. So, so we shall see because it wouldn't surprise me at all if Sean Payton wanting to get a new guy and Mac Jones could run that offense just in, in a lot of ways, just like Breeze ran it. So it's going to be a fun, fun thing to see, but he has to get past San Francisco at three. And everyone who said he's a lock at three, I've been fighting them for weeks. <laughs> I continue to fight them. I don't think it's a lock because if it was a lock, San Francisco wouldn't have attended Justin Fields yeah. today, and they wouldn't have been watching Trey Lance light it up yesterday in Fargo. Which is, I guess, the biggest story is is Mac Jones when it comes down to this draft. 
Because you said it can either be a, a, a Brady Quinn, Aaron Rodgers type of night for him, or he can go top four, top five in this draft. And the yeah. reason I, you know, you kind of bring that up when we talk about these quarterbacks is because with their success, honestly, and I got it written down because the success of all of these guys, Justin Field, Trevor Lawrence, just all, Zach Wilson, all of them, it comes down to fit. When you mention yeah. Mac Jones and, you know, him being able to play in the NFL offense, Look at what he did with Sarkeesian. That is the style of most offensive coordinators in this in the NFL now, honestly, is the play action and being able to navigate through play. Shanahan, it's the same thing in San Francisco. But the success of these quarterbacks, Charles, really breaks down to a fit. And I think, again, I question a lot about Trevor Lawrence and the coaching staff in Jacksonville because it's so new. And I know they've got experience and everything else. But – Look at Sam Darnold and how he was. Look at Ryan Tannehill in the first system he was in. It goes down to a marriage between the coaches and knowing what your guys can and can't do as far as the success of the organization and that player. I would agree with that. It almost always comes down to fit. Just go back to Aaron Rodgers and Alex Smith. Alex Smith went number one. That means more money, more prestige. You're the number one player in the draft. He went to San Francisco. Aaron Rodgers goes to Green Bay, has to sit. Go, go through the Brett Favre saga, but whose career ultimately ended up being better and was better suited right from the beginning. It was Aaron Rodgers. I know that he and Mike McCarthy had a messy divorce, yeah. but they won a Super Bowl together, and every year they were contenders, and Aaron was an MVP. Alex had to battle to get to where he wanted to go. The thing about Jacksonville, Ramon, that actually liked the situation for Trevor Lawrence is the offensive line isn't bad to begin with. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're talking about Linder at center, Norwell at guard, and A.J. Can's a tough guy at guard, Jawan Taylor, Cam Robinson. They put some capital yeah, in there. Yeah. They've had some weapons around him. Grabbing LaVisca Chenault last year was a big deal. Getting Marvin Jones at free agency is a big deal. Mm-hmm. D.J. Chark's already there. They're putting people around him. You had the runner last year in James Robinson. Robinson yeah. So you're starting from a better vantage point, I think, than Sam Darnold did with the Jets. And we shall see how it goes with they, how they retool their defense. It's going to be up to Urban Meyer and Joe Cullen, the new coordinator, to retool that defense and give their offense a fighting chance. Yeah. Charles, we were all good, man. So you mentioned the, uh, the, the, the Super Bowl with Green Bay. I just wish Aaron Rodgers and McCarthy had a breakup of their marriage a long time before we played them. <laughs> I missed my opportunity to get a ring, Charles. But, hey. Hey, it was, hey, it was, a, it was a heck of a game. It was. Trust it, me. I see Aaron Rodgers throwing that, that – what was it? A slant – no, the uh, post route. Down the yeah. line, I was like, to Jordy Nelson. Golly, I'll never forget that pass. That's the well, he, he threw that. Brett, Brett Favre threw that through that post. Andre Risen in that first Super Bowl when they beat New England. Yeah. Um, remember, remember Joe Montana throwing that post to Jerry Rice against yeah. the Broncos. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember Roger Staubach throwing one to I think it was Golden Richards. Yeah. Or, no, uh, but you know, um, who who was the other um, the Hollywood guy? Um, Vance. Uh, oh God, what was his name? Vance. Uh, ah. He, ah. Who are you talking answer. about? What team? Uh, the receiver with the Cowboys. Butch the, the, Johnson. In, in the Super- Butch Johnson. Yeah. Yes, and Butch shot his guns after the great catch in the Super Bowl against Denver. Ramon, the post route uh. is the nemesis of any defense that ever <laughs> plays. And believe me, as a former safety, me and post routes will never get along. I uh, Trust, I'm, I'm with you. We're going to have Josh Heupel on at 9 o'clock to talk a little Tennessee hey, football. Tell, t- tell, tell him hi for me. And, Will do. And – so three months he's been on the job, and we're certainly going to discuss what that has been like. And Ramon and I got into it yesterday, just how impressive things have been so far from a PR standpoint. But the fact, too, that this orange and white game is more important than most because this, especially in pandemic times, this is almost like his coming out party, mm-hmm. yeah. not not just for the fans, but also for kids to have a chance to see his offense and the parents, the prospects, the high school coaches. <clears throat> are, are we off on that? No, not at all. And it's, it's a big deal. And the thing about our, our big orange nation, hmm. about Tennessee fans that we absolutely love is that they – always have optimism mm. that they are always looking towards, okay, here's our next, here's our chance to get back to where we were and be who we're supposed to be. I, I appreciate it, Josh. 
I appreciated Danny White, the new athletic director. In their press conferences, Mike and Ramon, I don't ever remember them asking our fans for a real, you know, like they didn't make a plea for patience. Mm. They just pledged to, to roll up their sleeves and go to work. Because our fans can't, they can't hear that word anymore. They're, they're done with it, right? Even though we actually do need to give them some patience because <laughs> things have gotten screwed up enough that they need extra to get it done. But they were smart enough to recognize that. They just want to go to work and get it done and, and try and get us back to where we are. But I think you're spot on, Mike, about the coming out party. Everyone gets a chance to. Nowadays, instead of shaking your hand, they're going to bump elbows. But they're going to be yeah. able to get closer to these people than they have in, in recent months. The kids seem to be getting a little bit of a rebirth. You know, you got to kind of nurse these kids back to health. They got beat down a little bit over the last couple of years. And I think that he and his staff have already started that process. Charles Davis, continue preparing for the draft. Yes. We look forward to watching you on NFL Network. And thanks for taking a few minutes for your old friends back here in Nashville to, to share some of your knowledge. You're the best, my friend. Yes. I appreciate it. I'm going to throw one name at you before we go, go. guys. Go. My, quarter, my quarterback off the books that I'm in love with is Davis Mills of Stanford. Yeah, he's going to go day I've two, right? It. Yeah. I, I, I saw my tape a few months ago. And fell hard, start crushing big time. I don't care. He's only had eleven starts. I like that kid's future. Hey, good stuff. I like it. Charles Talk Davis, thanks. Thanks, Charles. Charles, I, yeah, Davis Mills. Davis Mills. Yeah, I, I've seen his name in some at the bottom of the first round. Tampa was a team. Well, you know, people like Kellen Mond, salt, yeah, from Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. But there, but there are people who are beginning to like him better. Mm -hmm. Then Kellen Mond, based on the fact that they like the upside, yeah. and if he could go somewhere and have a chance, there are some mm -hmm. who believe he has more physical skills than Mac Jones. Mac, man. I... What, what would Davis Mills have done as Alabama's quarterback, yeah. and what would Mac Jones have done as Stanford's, Stanford's. quarterback? I'm really hoping for for, for uh, Mac Jones' sake it goes well for him because I could see a skid. I can see a skid, man, just based off of what teams need and what other teams may think of him. I, I, I would really hate for the media to play him up so high for it to be a letdown in reality. Well, but it really can be because if you if you look at the teams that are in a position to, yeah. to do the drafting, if Detroit likes what they have better in Jared mm -hmm, Goff, Jared Goff yeah. if Carolina likes who they have in Sam Darnold, mm -hmm. if – Philadelphia likes Jalen Hurts better. It, it, and at nine, if Denver says we don't think he's an upgrade over what we have, Lock. if Belichick is not sold on him at 15 as a future or he thinks 15's too high, yep. I mean, yeah, I think it's a great point. He could tumble well into the 20s. And what we're and that's not good for the Titans. No, it's not. No, because the Titans need him to go in yes. the first 21 picks. And, and the thing about that position is so much weighted on it. Like, the first rounders are one thing. Mm -hmm. But when you pick the quarterback, Woo. it's just different. And I, I hate talking about them so much, but doggone it, they push the needle when it comes to this draft, though, man. And as far as when it comes to organizations – projections for the next five years for your team. It means a lot, It man. does. It does. We need a break. J-Mart and Ramon, 615-737-1045. Twitter, at J-Mart and Ramon. Presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors on 104.5 The Zone. This is NFL Draft Month, and we have all the Titans news first. Just ask Alexa to play 104.5 The Zone. Hey, it's Ramon, and this is what you need to know when it comes to selling your home. Open door. Yeah, I said it kind of slow for a reason because I need you to know who it is, all right? So if you're thinking about selling your home, think about selling it to, again, open door. Hundreds of thousands of people have already requested their offer through open door, and you can too. Go to opendoor.com, ask a few quick questions about your home, your dwelling, where you live at, okay? Complete a contact-free video walkthrough the same way you do on all your social media platforms. and But with this, you get an offer in just a few steps. And if you like that offer, you can sell your house directly to Open Door. No do-it-yourself do repairs, no prep work, no decluttering, no fixing the wall pops, that wood that's on the floor, you don't have to get that shaved. None of that stuff. Besides, who wants to do that? You can get an offer 
and close when you're ready, and you can do it all online with Open Door. So get your free offer at opendoor.com slash my offer. Again, that's opendoor.com slash my offer. Offer eligibility varies, and Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License 02061130 in California, Open Door Brokerage LLC, and his other markets. The VA loan is one of the best benefits of being in the military. The problem has been that most VA lenders don't really care about their customers or the level of service that they provide. At HeroLoan.com, we want to earn your business. We pay for the appraisal and can close your VA loan in as little as 14 days. Get the loan you deserve and apply online today at HeroLoan.com. The only way to VA. NMLS number 1326 241. The headlines have hit the news. Claiming shortages of vehicles in Middle Tennessee. Not at Music City Autoplex. Their exceptional wholesale buying ability has allowed them to increase inventory to meet your needs like no other dealership. More late model, low mileage choices, more financing options, more SUVs, more trucks, more sedans. So visit Music City Autoplex today and find more of what you want in a vehicle purchase experience. See why Music City Autoplex is growing and why they are the uncommon dealership. Located at 2430 Gallatin Pike or online at musiccityautoplex.com. The signs of spring are all around us. Warmer weather, longer days, flowers blooming, and mosquitoes. That's right, mosquitoes will be out in force this spring, and nothing will spoil outdoor fun more quickly than itchy mosquito bites. Luckily, you can take back your yard with Arrow Exterminators and their mosquito control service. The experts at Arrow identify the source of the problem and then treat it using the most effective and environmentally friendly mosquito control available today so that you can take back your yard all spring and summer long. Half piece of mind knowing that family-owned Arrow Exterminators has over 57 years protecting homes and businesses from pests and termites, and they've built their reputation on great customer service, which is why they back all their services with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So whether you're trying to fight off itchy mosquito bites or just want to set up preventative service, you can trust the pest control experts at Arrow Exterminators. Schedule a free pest inspection today. Call 888-GO-ARROW or visit arrowexterminators.com. Genesis Diamond Spectacular Spring Extravaganza is here. This weekend, three days of phenomenal savings store-wide. You save up to 35% off Genesis already guaranteed best prices. Rings, pendants, earrings, bracelets, bands, and more. Plus special financing. This event was canceled last year, so we're making it bigger than ever this year. With twice the selection and double the savings. Get sale prices on all new designer jewelry and GIA certified diamonds. This Friday through Sunday only and only at Genesis Diamond. Green Hills and Cool Springs. Unapproved credit. A reading from the Golden Oak Lending Book of Mortgage Lingo. What is a cash out refi? It's using the equity in your home to pay off high interest credit cards. Paid it off. Yes. I'm James Hawkins, president of Golden Oak Lending. With mortgage rates at a record low 1.875%, you can save hundreds each month and skip your next two payments. You'll pay nothing out of pocket, and we never charge for a home appraisal if we can't close your loan. And remember, our local lending experts speak mortgage and love translating for our customers. Eliminating debt means putting your dreams back on the table today. Updated bathroom? Updated bathroom and a pool table? Don't push it, Rick. Get started with our fast and easy zip line tool at goldenoaklending.com. NMLS 114937, 1.875% fixed, 2.913% APR, FHA 15-year mortgage with 20% equity and approved credit. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. This is Sarah. How can I help? I knew it. I knew it, but I thought it was elves. Uh Uh-oh. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You called last year because you thought our truck team members wear caps to hide their elf ears. But you don't use elves. You use fairies. What makes you say that? I met Charlotte. What a delight. You met Charlotte? First I pointed, then the junk disappeared. But the sparkle sound came a little bit late. So I said, you should probably make that sparkle sound a little bit quicker. And then what happened? And then Charlotte materialized out of thin air and said, Never hesitate to trade your cow for a handful of magic beans. How did you know that? When you give a fairy advice, they have to give you advice in return. I love 1-800-GOT-JUNK. When you want junk to disappear, all you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit us at 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. 
Arbor Art Tree Care can keep the bugs from eating your trees and shrubs, and they can also protect you from mosquitoes. With their customized mosquito and plant health care treatments, they can protect all things from bugs this spring. Call an insured certified arborist today at Arbor Art, 299-9999. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. East 40 westbound at Briley Parkway is still seeing slow traffic, but early Raxton is clear. 40 westbound at the Hermitage, there's a crash off on the shoulder. Use caution. 14th Avenue north at Charlotte Avenue, we've got an accident being cleared. No problems coming in on 24 or 65. This report brought to you by DEA Take Back Day, April 24th. DEATakeback.com. Your unused or expired prescription drugs could end up lost, stolen, or simply misused. Keep them safe. Clean them out. Take them back on Saturday, April 24th. To find a collection site near you, visit DEATakeback.com. I'm Christy O'Brien with traffic on your home for Titans football, 104.5 The Zone. Jay Martin, Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. My name is Mike Keith sitting in for Jason Martin. Ramon Foster is here. Remind you, top of the hour, Josh Heupel, Tennessee's head football coach, 920 West Durham, voice of the Atlanta Falcons. They have the fourth pick in the NFL draft. Can't wait to visit with both of those gentlemen next hour. Uh, Just briefly in the time we have left, I want to ask you, and and I want to talk about Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin gets the contract extension in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Uh, You played for Mike Tomlin. I have always been a huge Mike Tomlin fan. I, I think he is sort of the ultimate in a modern-day mm-hmm. head coach. I guess I was most impressed with him when he became the head coach there that he didn't change the offense, he didn't change the yeah. defense. He understood that being the head coach is different than being a coordinator or being a football coach. He's a leader. I guess my question for you, Ramon Foster, is he as cool as it seems like he is? <laughs> You know what? He is. I, I got to give it to him. Again, and you speaking of Rabel earlier, you know, we talked about how he lays down certain things on what he expects on the field. Sure. And then there's a separation when you get off the field. He's as cool as he's advertised. Uh, he's a guy you want to play for. He's a guy you want to have conversations with because, truth be told, a lot of my fatherhood stuff that I've done is from conversations with him. And not, you know, not to say I didn't have an influence on my granddad, who I love, who my uncle, who helped raise me also, and some of the other male figures around my life. But when speaking about having two young boys the way he did and how he processed being in the business, raising them, the stuff that you do because you're in this world, you know, and um, just life, um, the mental side of life, what you should and should not do, man, he's as advertised when it comes down to him and his relationships with the players, man. And at the end of the day, again, there is that separation of, hey, this is still a business, okay? And I I love his factors of how he measures guys, too. It's either above or below the line. There's no black and white. I mean, that's about as black and white as you could get it when it comes down to saying, hey, we're doing good, or, hey, you need some stuff you need to work on, and you need to work it on real fast. There's, There's transparency when you're dealing with, your position on that team. It sounds so much like Vrabel. It, I'm tell, that's why it was inviting for me to do this show here because I see some of those things. I see John Robinson be like Kevin Colbert, who's able to find the guy. You might miss. Kevin Colbert's missed well, on some guys It's also. about batting average. Let's it's, face it. It's not about batting a 1,000. It's about overall batting average. And just watching that relationship of John Robinson and Vrabel, right. Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin. And we're speaking about Mike Tomlin because he just got the three-year extension, okay, which is huge. And you have a guy that has stability. That's what you want out of your coach here in Tennessee, and you're getting that. You've seen probably the most stability in this organization in recent history when it comes down to a head coach. No doubt. I don't think anybody would would complain against that or would argue against that. So when you're dealing with a guy that gives you transparency, if there's an issue with you, he lets the team know because why? The team's going to hold you accountable. And also, if you're right-minded, as he likes to say sometimes, you'll answer that call. You know, it's, it's the small things you see Vrabel do, the, the small mind games for the guys that can handle it, knowing how to coach this guy different than that guy. Um, truth be told, the way we navigated the Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, Ben thing. Like that, you got to be a certain type of coach, um, sure of yourself, to be able to hold all of that together for so long, you know? And it's beautiful to watch teams like a Tennessee inherit that type of stuff also. 
where you got what do you want to call it? Three superstars with an emer- with more emerging behind them. Yeah. You got AJ, you got Tannehill, and you got uh, Derek. Derek, and you got and Jeff, Jeff behind it. Yeah. And then again, uh, depending on who you what you what you hit with in free agency this year, you have more guys after that. That's what you want out of your team, man. And everybody knows their role. And again, the transparency of him doing his job is what I admire the more the most. Good stuff. Speaking of coaches, Josh Heupel at the top of the hour right here on your home for the Titans and the Vols, 104.5 The Zone. The 3HL. We break Titans news first. Breaking news. Oh, is it happening now? Titans are hiring a senior defensive assistant, Jim Schwartz. Schwartzy. Coming back to Nashville. The 3HL with Brett Doherty and Don Davenport. This afternoon, starting at 3 on 104.5 The Zone. This is Boomer Science with the CBS Sports Minute. Sponsored by Cordell and Cordell, fair divorce for men. Visit dadsdivorce.com. It's time to salute the Los Angeles Dodgers and the NHL's Arizona Coyotes for a pair of recent gestures that demonstrated tremendous thoughtfulness and class. Baseball's reigning champions yesterday gifted Vin Scully with a 2020 World Series ring. The 93-year-old Scully retired after the 2016 season, his 67th as Dodgers play-by-play virtuoso. On Saturday, the Coyotes honored the life of nine-year-old Leighton Accardo, who had died of pediatric cancer back in November. In a very touching pregame ceremony, the team added Accardo and her number 40 to their ring of honor. The courageous and vivacious figure skater and girls hockey player is the first person who is not a player, coach, general manager, or broadcaster to be added to a team's ring of honor in NHL history. I'm Boomer Esiason. Attorney CPA Joe Cordell. Hopefully you and I agree that you should do everything you can to save your marriage. Divorce is hard, expensive, and its outcome is usually not all you hope for. However, when doing everything has failed, when divorce remains as your last option, consider Cordell and Cordell as your first choice to help you through the divorce process to a better place on the other side. We've been a partner men can count on for more than 30 years. Let us be that partner for you. The attorneys at Cordell and Cordell work to help men maximize their role in their children's lives. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's Nashville area attorneys. A partner men can count on. 615-457-8700. That's 615-457-8700. Online at CordellCordell.com. That's CordellCordell.com. Offices in Franklin, Nashville, Murfreesboro, and Gallatin. 810 Crescent Center Drive, Suite 160, Franklin, Tennessee, 370. Hey, this is Jason Martin. The next time you're at home, I want you to look for these things. Doors and windows sticking, maybe cracks in your bricks or a Boeing basement wall. Maybe the chimney leans a bit. All of these are signs of a possible foundation issue. And when it comes to foundation repair, nobody does it better than United Structural Systems. USS has served Middle Tennessee for over 25 years. Their integrity and reputation is impeccable, including an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. They're also locally owned is United Structural Systems, not a franchise. That means they customize a solution for each homeowner depending on your specific needs. United Structural Systems will give you a detailed free estimate before you ever make a decision. And as always, you don't pay a dime until the work is done and you are happy. With over 19,000 satisfied customers and counting, you can feel good about calling United Structural Systems at 615-227-2275. 227-2275 or visit them online at USSTN.com United Structural Systems. Hi guys, it's Andrew. Are you struggling with ED? Well, I have great news. Hillside Medical Clinic uses the most advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels. We're finally treating the root cause problem of ED. No pills, no injections, and no surgery. Even Cambridge tested our technology and showed that it is highly effective. If you're struggling with ED and sick of the pills, call us right now for an unprecedented offer. We'll give you the initial medical assessment, exam, even the blood flow ultrasound totally free. We'll also include a special gift proven to produce instant results in the bedroom. This is a $500 value, but it's totally free to those that call us in the next two minutes. Put a stop to your ED and get the intimacy back. Call Hillside Medical Clinic right now to qualify for this offer. 615-576-5000. That's 615-576-5000. Hillside Medical Clinic. 615-576-5000. 
BetMGM welcomes you to Showtime with a risk-free first bet up to $600. Simply sign up and use bonus code MGM600 and you're on your way to betting with the king of sports books. Plus, with BetMGM's new one-game parlay feature, you can choose from hundreds of bet types and combinations within a single game to build a perfect parlay. All the action on all your favorite sports will be at your fingertips when you download the app or go to BetMGM.com and use bonus code MGM600 to make your first bet risk-free up to $600. Bet with confidence and turn game day into payday at BetMGM. New customer offer, paid in free bets. Must be 21 years or older, must be in Tennessee. Visit BetMGM.com for full list of terms and conditions. For problem gambling support, call the Tennessee Red Line at 800-889-9789. Fleet Cards USA. Fleet Cards USA, Barb speaking. Hey, Barb, so I'm a fleet manager for a mid-sized trucking company. Nice. Trucking is one of our sweet spots. How can I make sure my drivers stop where they get the best price for fuel instead of choosing places because they have good hot dogs? You mean truck stops where you get the best pricing? Bingo. Easy. With fuel cards, you'll get better negotiated discounts with some of the top merchants nationwide. Well, sign me up. Go to fleetcardsusa.com, answer a few questions, and bam, you're good to go. Fleet Cards USA. Listen to 104.5 The Zone for the latest news and the best coverage of the draft. 104.5 The Zone draft coverage is sponsored by Two Rivers Ford. Two Rivers Ford, powered by Ford, driven by people. From the 104.5 The Zone Traffic Center. 40 westbound at the Hermitage. We've got a disabled vehicle blocking the left shoulder. Use caution. Still seeing some heavy traffic westbound at Bradley Parkway from an earlier accident. No problems coming in on 24 or 65. No unusual delays on 440, 14th Avenue North at Charlotte Avenue. We've got a crash being cleared. This report brought to you by Carsaver.com. Check out Carsaver.com, the first site where you can buy new and used cars 100% online and get a lifetime warranty at no cost to you. Save thousands today at Carsaver.com. That's Carsaver.com, the better way to buy a car. I'm Christy O'Brien with Travis on your home for Titans football, 104.5 The Zone. From the Mark Spain Real Estate Studios, this is your Titans NFL Draft Station. WGFX Gallatin, Nashville. Trending now at 104.5 The Zone. It is 9 o'clock. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Shea for breaking news out of the NFL. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed coach Mike Tomlin to a three-year contract extension. It will run through the 2024 season. According to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, the Panthers are hosting former Titans defensive tackle Daquan Jones on a visit. They're expected to sign him to a one-year deal. National Predators defeated Chicago Blackhawks 5-2 last night. Preds snapped a two-game losing streak. Predators remain in fourth place in the Central Division. And Alex Smith announced his NFL retirement, capping a 16-year career. Smith, who turns 37 next month, started his career as a number one overall draft pick turned last year to win the Comeback Player of the Year award after missing two years due to a gruesome injury that nearly cost him his right leg. Breaking news at once on your own with the Titans and the Vols. This is 104.5 The Zone. Do I have everybody's attention now? Now it's time for Jason Martin and Vol for Life Ramon Foster. Powered by all four seasons garage doors. Together, they are J-Mart and Ramon on 104.5 The Zone. With Ramon Foster, I'm Mike Keith sitting in for Jason Martin. Pleased to open this hour of the program with University of Tennessee head football coach Josh Heupel. Josh, thank you so much for taking time for us in Middle Tennessee this morning. How are you? Absolutely. Uh, Great morning over here in Knoxville. Appreciate you guys having me on. Good morning, Coach. We've had two guys to tell you hello this morning already. Charles Davis and Inky Johnson both, if you know who they are, I guess, too. Yeah, I've uh, I've had conversations with both of those guys. Uh, obviously, those are are great members of our BFLs, and and um, you know, huge impact here on Tennessee football while they were here. Continue to have that impact. Two of our, our greatest ambassadors. Let me lead off with this one, Josh. You've been Tennessee's head football coach for eighty three days now. What's the biggest thing that you feel like Tennessee football has accomplished in your nearly three months on the job? Yeah, not quite three months. Uh, absolutely, the the foundation of who who we're going to be and what we're going to be inside of our building every day, how we're going to approach every day, uh, our accountability uh, to each other, to ourselves, uh, to the program. Uh, that's absolutely where we've uh, we've gained the most uh, 
uh, ground here. And, and uh, are we anywhere near near where we need to be? No, not yet. Uh, we're gaining that ground every day. Uh, I think that trust and, and the ability to communicate from player to player, player to coach, coach to player, uh, we've uh, we've come a long ways in a short amount of time. The energy, effort, and, and uh um, you know, just the, the way the building exists every single day. There's a dramatic change from when we first started and, and um, looking to continue to build that here as we finish spring ball this week, but really as we uh, go into our summer, uh, our third quarter of off season. As, as you know, you, you settle into the job in Knoxville. Um, this past weekend, it looked like you and the guys are having fun. You're supporting each other, and you also went out to support the baseball game. We saw – you threw out the first pitch. Now, Coach, I didn't see the ending of the first pitch. I just got to know, how did it end for you with the first pitch at the Vandy, Tennessee game this past weekend? Well, they, it was an 0-2 count. I wanted to make sure that I didn't give him anything down the middle of the plate, <laughs> painted the outside corner, and, and uh, got him swinging. So, overall, it was a, it was a good effort right there. Uh, uh, hopefully, I get hopefully I get another shot at it. <laughs> at, least, uh, at least it wasn't like 50 Cent when he threw out for the Mets. That's what we're... <laughs> no, there was none of that. No. But – uh, that that event, though, you guys want to support the baseball team, man, just shows a lot about the camaraderie of the team. Where are you trying to build this team up as far as getting them to, I don't know if you want to say like each other, but getting them to, to know each other. It looked like they're having fun. The social media side of UT Sports right now is awesome, okay? And just seeing how you're building these guys up, what does it mean for you as they've even thrown you into some of the, the offseason antics that they have going on? What has that process been like to – get them to come back around to, to being teammates? Yeah, two things that are, are critical, and, and they're who I am as a person, but who our, our program has to be. Uh, and two things that, you know, really our team talked about we're missing here were in accountability. I think that's the basis of any relationship you have with anyone, uh, your ability to, to trust who and what they are and what they're going to do every day. Mm-hmm. And uh, can you rely on that person? And then the sec- second is connection. And, uh, I think, you know, family sometimes is the most over word used in, in, in college football recruiting uh, because people use it as a word. We're going to live that thing out every day in, in, inside of our building. And uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we're not real with our players. Right. It doesn't mean that they're not real with us. It doesn't mean that you don't have hard conversations. It's the exact opposite of that. You're, op- you're able to be open and transparent in your relationships and in your communication because, you do have a relationship with them. They know that it's not just about an action. It's about, you know, the future of them as an individual. It's about while they're playing football here, but it's really about everything outside of the game. And it's about setting them up for success when the, when their careers are done. And then you flip it and you look at the team side of that. Um, you have to spend time together and, and our kids work really hard. They're learning how to be accountable every day. Uh, but building that trust and building that atmosphere, you got to be connected. You got to spend time together, and and so that's you know going to a baseball game to hang out, and have some hamburger and some hot dogs mm-hmm. and and, and uh, some candy for the guys, and be able to hang out after you just got done with meetings. Uh, you know that evening, uh, getting yourselves ready for a Saturday scrimmage. It's building a community here inside of your athletic department with other student athletes, uh, developing that relationship. Um, you know, that's why you've seen us, you know, do a Super Bowl party, uh, you know, play dodgeball. There's some things that we'll do to finish out the semester that that uh, this should, you know, everybody started playing sports because they had fun doing it. Um, mm-hmm. You can compete really hard, be coached really hard, be pushed to be your best while you're having fun. And we're doing that outside of the game. You come to a practice, uh, you see the energy from our players. They're competing, having fun with each other. There's a ton of energy. Uh, I like where we're we're heading in that direction. When it, uh, you're talking about coming down to competing, the the side that I like to focus on a little bit, of course, is in the trenches. You got two dynamic guys and Coach Ellaby and Coach Gardner. I know they're both competitors, and they also have challenges when it comes down to hey, getting these guys one in your offensive side of the system getting them to understand how you're going to run the plays and the efficiency of it. But on the defensive side of it, it's also being ready for the challenge of playing in the SEC. And I know you've played high competitive ball in other conferences also, but speak on these two coaches when it comes down to building guys in the side, the trenches as I'll, I'll ask you a question about another guy in a second. Uh, th- those two guys are, are, are unbelievable uh, people, man, real dudes. Uh, that are real with our players, but mm-hmm. man, they invest in them too, as much as anybody I've I've been around. 
both have great track records of, of developing guys uh, within their systems, developing them uh, fundamentally in technique, and I think that creates a lot of buy-in when they first walk into the into the building and into the posi- position meeting room. Those guys, you know, for our whole team, but certainly at, at that position, man, you got to play with great technique. <clears throat> I think that gets lost sometimes in, in, in the trenches, man. Technique matters. Your your steps, your hand placement, your pad level, all of those things matter. Uh, but the the other side of it is getting your kids to play with consistent uh, competitive spirit, man, right. and being the same competitor every single day. And and uh, you know we're 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 pushing that direction. We got we got a ways to go, but our kids are starting to understand the competitive side of who they need to be every time that they walk onto the practice field. Um, a guy that's kind of made a, a I guess a niche for himself, a path for himself. And I just I'll drop his name and just speak on him as Dane Davis, the the former walk on. How how has he emerged in this spring and just with you guys in the short time you've been around him? Yeah, con- consistency, right? Uh, consistency in who he is. Right. Uh, consistency in the way he handles himself inside of anything that we're doing, the meeting room, the practice field, uh, strength and conditioning. He's going to give everything that he's got every single day. He cares about his teammates. He's going to invest in those guys. Uh, they know that they can count on him. Those are winning habits, winning traits. And that's what we're, we're building here, man. We're losing some of those, those losing habits, and we're gaining winning habits. Uh, Dane's a guy that uh, has a bright future here. It, it really feels like you and the staff, and as you talk about players, you talk about practices, you talk about experiences, it feels like you and the staff are dedicated to instilling confidence and positive energy into this football program. Am I reading that correctly, Josh? Absolutely. Uh, it does not mean you don't have real conversations. It doesn't mean that, that you're not coaching hard. It's not, it doesn't mean that you're not demanding them to do the right things. But it starts with a real relationship, all right? They understand where you're coming from. It starts in being extremely consistent in uh, who you are and how you interact with your players every day. There's a ripple effect to every rock that gets thrown in the pond. That's true mm-hmm. for me. That's true for our assistant coaches, too. Understanding the, the ripple effect of that is, is really important. And uh, being real with these guys and being extremely consistent <clears throat> is, is who I am. It, it's what we've hired. It's who our staff is. That's how we're going to interact with our players uh, every single day. And, and um, I, I think it's really important that uh, your players gain confidence and mm-hmm. trust in you. And in turn, they can start to gain confidence in who they are as a player because you have clear, concise, uh, um, you know, standards of, of how you're going to play, what their technique. You got to be able to clearly communicate that. The players will grab onto it. Uh, you know, guys that are playing at this level, they're not trying to mess up. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> the vast majority of them want to be pleasers. They want to try to do things the right way. I think it's uh, imperative that coaches are really clear on what the standards and what you want are. And, uh, uh, you know, so that's that's what we try to do here early. Uh, I think building positive momentum through those experiences, showing players how they are improving, guys that are taking huge strides from practice to practice, or during the course of an, uh, a certain part of your offseason is really important to creating positive energy, rewarding the positive is really important with this generation. And in doing that, you're creating positive momentum. I think it's important that we do that with our former VFLs, that they understand that, man, they built this place. Uh, their legacy lives on. We're walking in those footsteps now. I'm fortunate that I get to be the torchbearer of, uh, of this program right now. I want those guys to be back, to be able to, to be with our position coaches, talk to our players, give back uh, as, as, as they've learned uh, from, uh, from their experiences once they've left here. I think it's important that our current players see that, that this is a, a lifelong journey of being a Tennessee football player, that it's not just a four-year process. And it, all those things parlay into, into recruiting well and creating positive momentum outside of this, this program. I wanted to be here because this is one of the great traditions in college football. This has got a passionate fan base and you have the tools to go chase and win championships. And we got to create that positive momentum to continue to build this program the right way, go recruit elite players, and then develop them, let them go cut it loose and play on Saturdays. Yeah. The orange and white game, Saturday, your chance for you and this program to showcase the program, not only for the fans, but for prospects and their families. What do you hope people take away from Neyland Stadium this weekend when they see your football team, probably for the first time? 
Absolutely. Uh, a football team that's organized, that understands what they're going to do, uh, that has a, a group of young men and a coaching staff that's going to give great effort every single day, uh, going to make Tennessee proud in the way that we, we compete every day and uh, that we're building this thing the right way. And, and I think as fans come into the stadium, get a chance to watch our players compete, uh, they'll, they'll see that we're, we're making those strides and, and, uh, and taking this thing, building it uh, the way that we want to. Josh, thank you so yes, much for, take, you. for taking time with us this morning. Uh, good luck the rest of the week and, and hope Saturday goes great for the Big Orange. Absolutely. We will, man. I appreciate it. Go Vols. Go Vols. Can't wait to get up there. He's, I'll be honest. You're going to be there this weekend, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to be there. Uh, we're taking a show on the road, man. Uh, Jay Martin, Ramon, was be Ron, Slay, with us, Schaefer's. Everybody's the gang's going up, man. We're loading up the van. We'll have a little bit of a, a setup in the parking lot outside the stadium. It'll be a good time, man. I'll see some of the guys. Hopefully get a chance to meet, Co- meet Coach Heupel, his staff, Ellery, just the entire guys, man. Keep them safe, of course, sure. socially distanced, but – I'm as a former guy now, also retired NFL player. I'm excited to be in fan mode about this. I'll be real with you. This is exciting for me. I think it's interesting to hear him, and I, and I've talked to people around the program who've talked about the positivity thing. Yeah, and I, and I find that interesting because, like most people of my generation, I am very against the whole everybody gets a trophy bit. Ah, uh, yeah, not a fan. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I'm also very against people who beat you over the head constantly who tell you how you have no chance who sit around and complain about well and especially at a place like Tennessee we got a mess we can't fix this we get and he has chosen to come in with something very different yeah which I think fits this generation and is foundational for what his program is going to be I don't think he's going to repeat a lot of slogans and say things over and over but the positivity thing mm-hmm. has been something that ha- has been noticeable t- for mm-hmm. people from the outside. Even after a bad practice or a bad moment, they try to end with something good yeah. because they're trying to build something on the ground foundationally. I think it's interesting. I-, I think it's an interesting take for where Tennessee is right now. Another interesting take Going back to the NFL draft, what are the Atlanta Falcons going to do at four? The yeah. voice of the Falcons, Wes Durham, will join us to talk about it when J Mart and Ramon continue on 1045 The Zone. Titans NFL draft talk can be found here. The home for Titans football. Touchdown, Titans, AJ Brown. 1045 The Zone. Masvidal and Usman put on the show the last time they stepped in the octagon. And guess what? Round two is sure to pack a punch. DraftKings Sportsbook, the official betting partner of UFC, is putting you in the center of this weekend's title fight with 26 to 1 odds on either title contender to reign victorious. Pick either main event fighter to win during this weekend's UFC 261 title fight, and DraftKings Sportsbook will give you 26 to 1 odds. Just bet $5 on either fighter to win. And if they walk out with the belt, you will cash $130. There's no better way to put your MMA knowledge to test and to put your money where your mouth is with DraftKings Sportsbook. And don't worry if MMA isn't for you, okay? DraftKings Sportsbook offer great odds and promotions on basketball, hockey, and so much more. This is the thing. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable, so you can deposit and withdraw your funds at your convenience. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook up now and use promo code WGFX when you sign up to turn $5 into a $130 if the title contender of your choice wins. Place your bets and watch the fist fly this weekend. That's code WGFX to turn $5 into $130 if the fighter of your choosing takes home the crown. For a limited time, only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 years and older and present in Tennessee to bet. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. And if you or someone you know has a gambling problem and won'ts help, call the Texas Tennessee Red Line at 1-800-889-9789. How did y'all do it? My husband and I have been all over the county looking for the right place to build our custom home. It was easy. We just went to Partners in Building. Partners in Building? Yes, Partners in Building. They're one of the biggest custom builders in the South. We went to their model in Belterra on Concord Road about a mile east of Wilson Pike. They have these enclave communities with lots of an acre or more all around Brentwood and Franklin. That does sound like what we're looking for. Then it's time to go to PartnersinBuilding.com or call 615-486-4009. 
online. Need some cash for that home improvement project or ready to wipe out all that credit card debt? Don Davenport here and Loan Pronto is where you need to go to make it happen. With their zero cost refi program, you can refinance your mortgage now and get cash out of your home's equity. People are doing this and getting checks for twenty. dollars Thirty, forty thousand dollars. Now that's a stimulus check. Rates are still super low, and Loan Pronto's all digital platform makes it easy. They can cover your closing cost. Your home's value is up. That gives you access to lots of cash. Don't put this off. Refi now with Loan Pronto and be credit card debt free for the summer. You can even skip your next couple of house payments. Get cash out now to fix up that home office or remodel your kitchen. Maybe build a pool. Call now. Ask about Loan Pronto zero cost cash out refi at 615-499-5780 or loanpronto.com. Equal housing lender NMLS 1661781 subject to lender approval not available on all loans. Hi, I'm Zach Allen with Buddy Allen Carpet One. So, you adopted a pet. Well, in addition to being the most rewarding, fulfilling, and cuddly decision you've ever made, this bundle of joy has really scratched up your floors. That's where Buddy Allen Carpet One comes in. We've got scratch resistant floors and right now, during our Claws and Paws flooring sale, you'll save up to $1,000 and get special financing with approved credit. Come see us in Donaldson or visit us at BuddyIslandCarpet1.com today. Get ready to feel the Vegas vibes at Oak Grove Gaming. Make plans now to attend the free Blues Festival at Oak Grove Gaming on Saturday, May 8th. The first event ever at Oak Grove's Concert Amphitheater features a loaded lineup of award-winning musicians. You can let go. Crystal Shawanda kicks things off with her powerful, soulful sound starting at 2 p.m. Soul blues legend Johnny Rawls takes the stage at 5. And masterful guitarist Stacy Mitchhart rips it up starting at 8. Doors open at 1 p.m. and admission is free. This outdoor event will have social distancing so everyone can safely enjoy all the fun, including food trucks, a beer garden, and more. For details on the Blues Festival on Saturday, May 8th, visit oakgrovegaming.com. That's oakgrovegaming.com. Oak Grove Racing, Gaming, and Hotel. So Vegas, so close. Must be 21. Gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hi, this is Lance Drury with the Lance Drury Law Firm here in Nashville. I've been warning our clients that IRS employees are back at work since mid-July, and their collection efforts have ramped up. Well, sure enough, it looks like it's happening. So if you have unfiled tax returns, wage levies, bank levies, or tax liens, now's the time to call the Lance Drury Law Firm before the IRS calls you. Tax resolution plans are based off your current income. So if your current income is less than normal due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this is precisely the time for the Lance Drury Law Firm to help you. Your consultation is free, so don't put it off. The Lance Drury Law Firm focuses solely on tax resolution law. It's all we do. And if you have IRS problems, you have legal problems. Let us use our tax law resolution experience to guide you and work on your custom resolution plan. Call now. It's free and confidential. Call me, Lance Drury, at 615-733-8168 or go to Lance, D-R-U-R-Y law.com. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon on advertisements. Hi, I'm Matt Duchesne, and most of you know I'm a husband, father, proud Nashville Predator, and a huge music fan. But what you might not know is that I'm also a total Ford guy, and my dealership is Two Rivers Ford. I chose Two Rivers because they're honest, upfront, and easy to do business with. They also have non-commissioned salespeople, which is great. I figured when a local business has been around for almost four decades, they must be doing something right, eh? So if you're ready for a new Ford, definitely go see my friends at Two Rivers Ford. Jay Martin, Ramon on 104.5 The Zone, presented by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. When trust matters, you can count on All Four Seasons Garage Doors in Nashville. Professional garage door installation and repair from a family-owned and operated business. Visit allfourseasonsgarages.com slash Nashville to learn more. I'm Mike Keith, sitting in for Jason Martin. Ramon Foster is here, and we are very pleased to be joined now by Wes Durham. A longtime voice of the Atlanta Falcons, former Nashvillian, hmm? ACC <laughs> Network star. Wow. How are you, my friend? <laughs> I'm doing well. It's always great to visit with you, Mike. I hope you're good. And, uh, boy, you're too kind. Former Nashvillian. Let's see. Let's do the math. That was 26 years ago. But 
Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but you, I mean, you, being a former Nashvilleian is not a bad thing. No, and, and now I'm the radio voice of Nashville's probably second favorite NFL team, given the clientele we're hired, right? Uh, well, the, the Arthur Smith hire is certainly very popular here because Arthur Smith was wildly popular here with what he did with the offense for two years. Can you notice many changes in how the organization is sort of flowing right now between Arthur and the new GM, Terry Fontenot, even though you haven't seen a ball club yet? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I think we can. I I think we can from just some of the comments and and some of the structural changes, right? Uh, And and you know this, you've been through it uh, much like I have in in covering an NFL team. Whenever there is a combination move, uh, head coach and general manager, there's bound to be just shifts in the office philosophy, building philosophies, things like that, right? I think we all kind of sense that that would be coming in Atlanta. So, once you clear, you know, the day-to-day folks who maybe you've become accustomed with for years, and there's always a couple of longtime staffers that maybe leave and new folks that come in, that kind of thing. Uh, I think you can sense that they're off to a really good start, which is what you would expect me to say. But the second thing in backing it up is they understand what they've been dealt, Mike and Ramon. And I, to be honest with you, I think that's the most important aspect of this. They're not trying to play out over their skis. One's a first-time head coach, one's a first-time GM. But they also understand they're behind the ball on the salary cap. They're in an incredibly competitive division every year, one that has been dominated by the quarterback for the last decade and a half. And right now they're trying to make sure that next Thursday night they make a smart move at either four or create inventory by potentially trading down and seeing what else they can find in the draft. So, Wes, that's, that's why I was going to next is, is people that think, and we've had a guest on our show that said, the draft don't start until you guys take your pick. <laughs> okay? So, you, can, yeah. you you have a franchise quarterback in Matt Ryan that's there who's just been as solid as anybody, hadn't won the ship, played in it, of course. But as far as the trajectory of having a new head coach and what he's expecting in the GM and OC and DC when it comes right. down to it, what is the best move for the Falcons to make, considering there is a, a Nashville guy there also? Well, the first thing I need to do is make sure you don't want to come back and play. Uh, no, 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 no. We're good. I promise you, you that. You sure? You uh, promise? No, okay. I'll help. Because we're, you know, we're looking for veteran guys at the minimum, Mike. Are you sure we don't want to do this? What I'm telling you is I know some people get paid to consult. I'm your guy if you need me to do that. Okay, got it. All right. <laughs> um, I, here's what – and you're asking the radio guy. So I'm, I'm going to give you a two-fold answer, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing short with radio guys. One, I think at four, you've got if you stay at four, you have to think of the best available player at four because that's where this draft is. They don't need the quarterback. Everybody, and I, I mean, we can read mock drafts till the sun shines, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but right now, Atlanta does not need a quarterback because for two years they're not changing quarterbacks because. Mike, you know how this goes. But Ramon, you know, the math doesn't work for changing a quarterback right yeah. now. Um, so they're not going to draft quarterback at four. I, I just don't sense that. Everybody else can go with it if they want to. Mm. Uh, now maybe I'm wrong next Thursday night. I think they take the, take the best available player or the best inventory need. Uh, some would say Panay Sewell out of Oregon is the best need. They need some help in the offensive line. Maybe you slide Jake Matthews inside a guard and put Sewell at the left tackle spot. Then you've kind of got your offensive line solidified. The Kyle Pitts stuff, to me, is fascinating because I think at four, you're getting a game changer. Uh, You're getting a guy who did it in the Southeastern Conference against top-flight competition every week, and he made it look easy. So there's a lot of momentum for Kyle Pitts. Now, I'm the long-term guy. I understand that we're in a little bit of a rebuilding phase. It'll take a couple years potentially to get back Mm -hmm. to the playoffs. Uh, I want you to get inventory. The other part about this is, I'll go back to the salary cap. you got to be able to get these guys signed, plus give yourself some flexibility long-term. In my world, if you can get more draft picks, either this year or next year, you move down in this draft and, and let somebody else crawl up there and give you what they've got. Yeah. How far down do you move? Oh, I think 8 to 11 is a, is a pretty good move to still get somebody that can help you right away. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, I – you're asking me in a perfect world, I'd move anywhere from 8 to 11 and take a running back. 
Because wow. I think I think they're t- I think they're I think Najee Harris can really play at this level. I, I think I think my personal opinion is we need to make the running back situation go. Now you'll get some folks that say take Pitts at four, wait till your second round pick, or move into the back end of the first round with some of your inventory two through five, and see if you can get Javante Williams out of North Carolina. Maybe Travis Etienne slips. I'm not sure that's going to happen. I'm not sure either uh, Najee Harris or Travis Etienne are slipping. I, I think there's a lot of smoke screening on running backs. That's why um, if you take Pitts at four, I think you have a hard time getting one of those two on the back end. But um, eight to 11, yeah, I'm going running back because I think it's the pick that helps you drive. You've got to be able to run the ball, Mike. And let's be honest, last two years, they, they have not run the ball consistently since the Super Bowl run. And that's I'm just being – perfectly honest with you from a statistical standpoint. Wes Durham is the voice of the Atlanta Falcons, and I ask this question. What's the status of Julio Jones these days? Um, it's a really good question, and it's complicated <laughs> because there's been a lot written uh, in the athletic. Tori McElhaney's done a marvelous job covering the Falcons for the athletic, and she penned an article uh, last week that talks about June 1 being a big day for Julio Jones. Uh, you know how June 1 fits in the world, right? If if he's on the roster June 1, then they could let him go and save a lot of money. I don't know what's going to happen with Julio Jones. The question, in my opinion, would be how healthy is he going to be? Um, you know, the production level last year obviously tailed off when he missed a half dozen games. Um, I, I think that he's still as good when healthy as this league has. But I don't know. I, I think financially it's a tough call for Atlanta, much like the quarterback situation. But I think also the reality of what the salary situation is with Matt Ryan has kind of been recognized now by the general public, and, and more attention I think will go to Jones after the draft. I will say this. If you see funny moves in the draft, that may, give, that may tell you what they're doing. Um, although I, I think it's hard to tell them free agency, quite frankly, because they just have not had that much cap space to work with. Wes, I, I got to admit, you're in rare air, man, when it comes down to saying you would take a running back there early in the first round, other than Saquon. Um, but you have a point, though, as far as the run game has to support Matt Ryan. It's not like he's any younger. He's getting older, so he's got to have more guys around him. I fully, fully understand that. And with you getting a running back at that position, at that pick also, the question I got to ask for you with Arthur uh, Arthur Smith being in in Atlanta now is this. Is Matt Ryan going to be a guy that buys into this new offensive scheme that's going in place for him right now too? Oh, absolutely. Ramon, I I don't think there's – Matt Ryan, and and I think Mike would would say this and and seeing Ryan just on on an irregular basis as we do with the AFC South, the one thing you know about Matt Ryan, he's a pro's pro. I mean, he has been through too many offensive coordinators and too many head coaches. You know, remember now, this is his third head coach. Wow. But I can't tell you the number of OCs he's had. I mean, this may be – I'll have to ask him. I think this is either seven or eight Goodness. in terms of OCs. And, look, I, I, think he, I think he more than welcomes Arthur Smith coming in because – I think he has great respect for what Ryan Tannehill did and what Arthur did in Nashville the last couple of years. And to your point, Ramon, here's the piece. They, and and would you tell me, Mike, a couple of years ago in the fourth quarter, that's when Derrick Henry closes? Yes, yeah. that's what Atlanta. That's what Atlanta does not have. Atlanta does not have the closer. And that's why, you know, you mentioned you're surprised here running back. I'm just one of those guys that believes in this league in order to win games and, you know, at any level – you know, you got to have some guy that can close the game. Very few can close it from the pocket. Most of them close it between the tackles trying to get three and four yards on third and short. Yeah. What What is to be made of you guys? Uh, I'm not sure if you opted out yet or boycotted the uh, off-season program as far as OTAs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how, how has that conversation been in Atlanta for uh, another NFL city, that is? It's been very interesting because the Falcons have not made a statement. Mm. Um, that I'm aware of. Uh, now I'm on the road traveling today, but I didn't see anything yesterday and haven't seen anything so far today. I, I've seen where some teams have elected in, some have elected out. I would think with a first-year head coach, first-year staff, first-year GM, you're gonna, you're probably going to see a little bit more participation from Atlanta. That's just given the climate and the veteran nature of this football team. 
uh, in a couple of aspects that, that I think it'll be required. I, they do go do off-season stuff in California. Uh, they did Florida for two years, and then last year uh, in COVID, they still managed to get everybody to California to do stuff that, that I think helped them. But on the whole, I, I, don't, I don't suspect Atlanta will opt out. I, I think they will do some in ta- in-person stuff when the time is right, as I understand, the league's going to start virtual, right, Mike? In terms of the, yeah. the original, uh-huh. yeah. And then I think after that, I do think you'll see Atlanta do some stuff in person because, quite frankly, there's just too much there that they need to get done. I, if they don't do anything, they're really going to put themselves behind the eight ball, uh, given kind of the way Arthur wants to put that offense in with Dave Ragone for sure. Going to be fun to watch uh, what goes on with Atlanta at number four a week from Thursday. And in this in this offseason, we're going to be interested to watch further moves from Atlanta. And uh, our friend Arthur Smith, a great choice for the Atlanta Falcons. I think you're going to have a great time watching what he does there, even mm-hmm. in year one. I think you'll yeah. see dramatic improvement. Yeah, I do too. I, and I think he, uh, and you guys would know, I think he did a really nice job putting the staff together. Uh, you know, Dave Ragone obviously with some ties. Dean Peace obviously uh, speaks to a uh, commitment on that side of the ball. I know a lot of people are excited about him. Wow. And then he brought some guys back. And, Ramon, you'll find this interesting. He brought a couple guys back that had played for the Falcons in recent years, one being T.J. Yates is kind of a, a pass game assistant who's got a lot of familiarity. He's from Marietta, mm. played at Carolina, obviously, and then uh, uh, has spent a long time in the league. And then the other guy that uh, – I texted Ryan a couple of weeks ago, Mike, and said, you're officially old now, Matt, because Justin Peel is going to be on this staff, and Justin Peel played with Ryan. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm telling you, Matt, when a guy comes back to coach and played with you, you're officially old now. So you need to buckle it on up, son. <laughs> they like to call that old head status. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wes Durham, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate you being with Absolutely. us on 104.5 The Zone. Anytime. Thank you, my friend. Absolutely. Thanks. So he's talking about it and talking about the Falcons with Matt Ryan. And of course there's talk about the Falcons taking mm. the successor to Matt Ryan at number four. Yeah. West Durham does not sound like he believes that. And here's why here are the numbers. Yeah. <clears throat> so Matt Ryan redid his contract this year yeah. to save the Falcons $14 million. That's, that was good at the time, right? Against the cap. hmm So his cap number this year is reportedly $26 million. hmm It was to be 40 Yeah. Okay, now, but when you redo, <sighs> money gets pushed off into the future. Yes. His cap number in 2022, $48 million. His dead cap money, if they get rid of it, yeah. is $40.5 million. That's money they can't put in to sign guys. So he costs them 48 if he's on the team against the cap. He costs them $7.5 million less if he's not on the team. So more or less, it's the same amount of money if he's on the team or if he's if not he's on the team. not on the team. And then the number goes down dramatically in terms of dead money in 2023. Yeah. So what he's saying, what Wes Durham is saying about them not taking a successor this year Mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense with his logic that Matt Ryan is probably on this football team for at least two more years for sure. And you you know what, what comes to mind? Two words. Kyle Pitts. It makes a lot of sense. Because... Um, if we're looking at Matt Ryan, I, I like to I like to think that Arthur Smith was actually okay with taking that job because he had a franchise quarterback and Matt Ryan behind center. I think that probably went into it also. Uh, at least stability for a couple of years, get my system in place, draft skill guys that I know that can pick up what I want them to be able to do, and then we'll phase in if possible a new quarterback at a certain point. Um, thing is, quarterbacks play for a long time. It's a matter of what Arthur Smith and the front office in Atlanta want to do with Matt Ryan. But to that point, they can't do anything right now, which is also leads me to another point to be made, Mike, is this. 
That's why you don't see the Titans restructuring right now. That's You don't want to do this. The, oh. the reason the Titans are in as good a shape as they're in right now mm-hmm. is because John Robinson has not carried dead money. Mm-hmm. And because this franchise has not carried a significant amount of dead money, that they have not put things off for a rainy day, yeah. it has given them the full array of options for this offseason. Mm-hmm. And listen. They're going to have more salary cap work to do after the draft. Yes. This is not This is not all set. Why did no. Jadevian Clowney leave? No money. No money. Why is Daquan Jones in Carolina? No money, no money. compared to what he was getting paid. And, and, the, and, and he ain't going to make what he was making here, there, because there's not a lot of money in the market. So the point being – there will have to be more moves made yeah. by a majority of NFL teams after the draft. And you'll hear some people, too, analysts, people, experts around the sport, that say if they want to make a deal work, they'll make it work, meaning there's always money there. Sure. But the caveat to that is this, what, Mike? You're going to have to pay the piper sooner or later. Right. And when it comes due, you're going to find yourself say, hey, we got to cut bait. The guys that you know and love, guess what? They either got to take pay cuts or they're gone. It's why the Green Bay – some people don't understand. Aaron Rodgers threw 48 touchdown passes and five interceptions this year yeah. for the Green Bay Packers. Yes. There are people who are saying there is talk that this is going to be Aaron Rodgers last year with the Green Bay Packers. Mm. How can that be? Well, the reason is at a certain point – Yeah. Just like the Bulls did with Jordan and Pippen and all and yeah. and Phil Jackson and all those guys, in the NFL it's even more dramatic mm-hmm. because the salary cap is based on real numbers. Yeah, there's no Larry Bird exemption. No. you have to make a decision, yes. and that decision time is coming in Green Bay, especially if they think Jordan Love could take it in 2022. Yes, and he has a skill set that has- they like. This is a head coach that drafted him Correct. because he likes him. And this also leads to another team, too, with another dynamic quarterback in Patrick Mahomes and the way he's honestly structured his deal. It's friendly for him and friendly for the team. There's opt-outs to where he can either re- well redo a contract, I think this is the way his is set up, or he can at least get paid for whatever the market value according to what the salary cap is at the time. Well, the salary cap is going to go over $300 million in this next decade. Wow. Wowzers. So it's going to work out okay for Patrick yeah. Mahomes. Yeah. Uh, he probably took a little less up front mm-hmm. knowing he has more coming down the line. Plus, he understands, like Tom Brady, yeah. like Peyton Manning, yep. like some of these guys at that elite level, the endorsement money mm-hmm. will pay off. Will pay off. 100%. You see other guys that say the exact same thing. They and haven't Brady's spent. wife makes more than he does, which <laughs> you know, doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt his no. feelings at all. No. <laughs> he has no ego no. about that. No, she 100%. makes $46 million. And he's wiping the tables out. Yeah, he's like, hey, whatever I need to do. Do I need to mow the grass? Sure. We'll get a break and be back with another segment of J-Mart and Ramon, 615-737-1045, at J-Mart and Ramon on Twitter. We're brought to you each morning by All Four Seasons Garage Doors on 104.5 The Zone. Blaine and Mickey understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. we understand. Blaine and Mickey, this afternoon, 1 to 3 on 104.5 The Zone. A SunTrust checking account lets you stay on top of your money and help it grow. Plant the seeds for your goals with access to financial resources and tools. Keep an eye on your spending, hedging and managing it by setting limits on our mobile app. And rake in cash back on debit card purchases from your favorite retailers with SunTrust deals. With all the right tools, your account can blossom. Open an account today at SunTrust.com slash checking. Must have online banking to participate in SunTrust deals. SunTrust, now truest. Member FDIC. Southern Trophy House may be our name, but we offer much more than trophies and awards. As a trusted locally owned business with more than 60 years in Nashville, we offer everything promotional to keep your brand visible, such as logoed PPE supplies, embroidered and screen printed apparel, awards, signs, name badges, and more. Let us handle packing and shipping directly to your customers or employees. Delivering top quality items your business needs to be recognized. Give us a call today at 615-256-7295 or online at southerntrophy.com. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. This is Sarah. How can I help? I knew it. I knew it, but I thought it was elves. Uh Uh-oh. Do you remember me? Sure I do. 
You called last year because you thought our truck team members wear caps to hide their elf ears. But you don't use elves, you use fairies. What makes you say that? I met Charlotte. What a delight. You met Charlotte? First I pointed, then the junk disappeared. But the sparkle sound came a little bit late. So I said, you should probably make that sparkle sound a little bit quicker. And then what happened? And then Charlotte materialized out of thin air and said, Never hesitate to trade your cow for a handful of magic beans. How did you know that? When you give a fairy advice, they have to give you advice in return. I love 1-800-GOT-JUNK. When you want junk to disappear, all you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit us at 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. One of the things uh, that's cool about betting basketball is finding new player props that you like. And what's really cool about FanDuel Sportsbook is you can combine all these props with other bets within the same game to score an even bigger payday. They're called same game parlay bets. And guess what? You can only find them on FanDuel. So you just pick all these different elements of the game, put them together, have some fun and see what you can do there. Try to make yourself a little extra cash. Matter of fact, if you haven't tried FanDuel Sportsbook yet, New users can get a risk-free first bet up to $1,000. Just place the bet. FanDuel re- will refund you up to $1,000 back in site credit if you don't win. So just download the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Try a same-game parlay. Use the promo code Mickey, M-I-C-K-E-Y, when you sign up. You must be 21 or older. Present in Tennessee. Refund issued as non-withdrawable site credit that expires in seven days. Max refund is $25. Terms apply. See sportsbook.fanduel.com for details. For problems gambling support, call 1-800-889-9789. I'm Mick McGarn from One Hour, and spring is the best time to rejuvenate your AC with a maintenance plan I call... Mix Trifecta. Wait a minute, Ryan. Naming it after me? Of course, Mick. Your spring AC maintenance package protects your system three ways. I don't like to draw attention to myself. That's crazy. You're a natural. You think so? The camera loves you, Mick. This is radio, Ryan. So tell us why Mix Trifecta is such a great service. First, your system is completely cleaned on the inside. Perfect. Then what? Every moving part lubricated so it runs smooth. Perfect. And then? Your system is tuned and calibrated to factory specs. Perfect. Running at maximum efficiency. And all this for only... 133. Okay, Ryan, I guess we can call a mix trifecta. OneHourMix.com Always on time, or you don't pay a dime. Make your appointment for mix trifecta. Guaranteed three ways. Good idea on the name, Ryan. Maybe I'll keep you around a bit longer. Independently owned and operated. Mike Keith here. Most people in Nashville know Gary Ashton as the don't sell without the intel and guaranteed offer guy. What you probably don't know is that despite his accent, Gary's also 100% guaranteed Nashville. He's a guaranteed musician, a guaranteed dog lover, a guaranteed community leader, and you're guaranteed to see Gary at every Tennessee Titans game. Guaranteed offer means you can sell your house for top dollar with no cleanings or showings and give yourself up to 90 days to close. So there's plenty of time to find your next home. Guaranteed Nashville means Gary's team lives here and loves it here. They've served Nashville for over 20 years and they're passionate about helping our community. If you're thinking about a guaranteed offer, get the only one that's guaranteed Nashville from the Gary Ashton team with Remax Advantage. To request a no obligation offer, call 615 315- 301 1650 or go to GaryAshton.com today. Remember, Gary Ashton, guaranteed Nashville. Now you don't want to do cheap bust the move. Jay Martin and Ramon on 1045 The Zone is brought to you by All Four Seasons Garage Doors. When trust matters, you can count on All Four Seasons Garage Doors in Nashville. Professional garage door installation and repair from a family owned and operated business. Visit All Four Seasons Garage Doors Nashville to learn more. What have we learned today on J Mart and Ramon? Well, we've learned that Jason Martin was not here again today. I'm Mike Keith filling in. So yes, that's yes. A, that's a start. We've also learned that Ramon Foster was present and accounted for. <laughs> we learned that a majority of Titans fans want a wide receiver at number 22. Mm-hmm. Although some are excited about defensive backs. Yeah. Some are minorly excited about offensive linemen. No yes. offense. That's the life. Some some like pass rushers. We even had a suggestion for a running back, Najee Harris. Uh, we visited with CBS Sports slash 
Sirius XM NFL radio analyst Pat Kerwin, who told us that he does not think Mac Jones is going number three to San Francisco. He thinks it's going to be Justin Fields. He does not believe. He thinks this is a very tough draft to make evaluations based on the opt-outs. And he does expect there to be a lot of movement in the first round. He thinks there will be trades because – there are general managers who have shown willingness to trade. Mm -hmm. We visited with Charles Davis from NFL Network. Talked about his pre-draft preparations for all the TV that he's going to be doing. Mm -hmm. He also thinks Justin Fields is going to go number three. He thinks Mac Jones could, could, could. tumble and that it might be interesting to see where he falls if the former Alabama quarterback does take a tumble in the first round. Yep. He likes Kyle Pitts number four. We visited with Tennessee head coach Josh Heupel, who is very excited about his orange and white game this yes. weekend. Excited about what his program has accomplished in his first 83 days on the job and continues to speak very positively about being the head coach in Knoxville instead of Throwing out a bunch of excuses. Cliches. Uh, didn't really do any of that. No. Coach Jones. <laughs> <laughs> didn't throw out a bunch of excuses about why it's such a hard place to win. Mm -hmm. He clearly, I, I, he said I, it. He said it in the interview again today. He goes, I wanted this he job. Did. I, this is one of the great programs in college football history. I wanted to be the head coach here. Mm -hmm. I think it is music to Big Orange fans' ears to hear somebody who embraces the challenge and the expectation. We heard him drop words like accountability, yeah. coach hard, yeah. have fun, win, winning culture, dropping losing culture. I love that. I, I mean, I don't think – I think he has found the balance, mm -hmm. PR-wise, of not acting like they've won anything yet mm -hmm. and yet being excited about being there. And I think that's all he – I think that's all he can do right now. Yeah. But some coaches don't find that balance in a variety of sports because they choose to be uh, derelict in their PR duties. I think Hypo gets it. Oh, yeah. He does. Wes Durham was just on with us, the voice of the Atlanta Falcons. He wants to trade down out of four if they don't take Kyle Pitts. He does not think they're taking their quarterback of the future at number four. He's interested in them obtaining a big-time running back somewhere <clears throat> early in the draft. So we have learned much on this program. It also, has, uh, more we've learned. Yeah, yes. also on the picture of me polling today, which uniform number do you prefer Derrick Henry to wear? Okay, good. 22, 66%. Okay. The number two, which you said you'd love to see him in. I, I like 22. I said I think he looked good in two. 30, 34%. So 22 stays, everybody. But you, you knew that would happen I because mean, well, yeah. people are going to vote for what they know, and they know him in 22. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the crowd has spoken. As you said, a smart they, crowd. They know. They don't have the single-digit love that I do. Another thing that we learned is that you're highly disappointed right now in Brent Doherty. Yes. Brent Doherty with his <sighs> talk about the Titans trading their entire draft to move up and take <laughs> Kyle Pitts. I'm not disappointed. I think disappointed is strong. Yeah. Just almost embarrassed by that take. No, nah, it's strong, too. I think it's, it's strong, but I, I think he's more educated than that. Oh, uh, another thing we learned today, too, with having the VOD on, he's going to get free culvers mm -hmm. in Franklin. That's right. I haven't seen any free culvers yet. <laughs> I mean, there's talk. There's that guy could have said he could have seen me in culvers one time. Uh. Knows I like culvers. And then, you know, he knows it's my easy. whole Dairy Queen thing. I have a reputation with those sorts of places. Yeah. Sonic. Uh -huh. I mean, I've been spotted. I, I mean, it's a, it's a thing. You're an ice cream guy. I'm a sad ice cream guy, yes. <laughs> you scream, a... I scream <laughs> for ice cream. We all scream. <laughs> Even you, Mike, let me find out if during the broadcast you have a, um, an ice cream bar behind you. And you during the broadcast? Matt. No. Okay. No, right. I, d I don't eat during the broadcast outside of, like, nutrition bars, which yeah. is kind of a running joke. <laughs> After the game, I ingest about 9,000 calories because I'm starving. So uh, what is your favorite candy, real quick, since we found out that Iron Eagles is Sour Patch Kids? 
It's it's really anything chocolate with peanut butter. Mm. Racist? Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty, All pretty right. much. I mean, that's pretty much the standard, yeah. but there are a variety of chocolate peanut butter concoctions all of which I will consume. I am uh, not discerning in that way. Okay. If it's chocolate, if it's peanut, peanut butter, butter, I'm very happy. What You're is down. your favorite style of Reese's? Oh, my. Because this has been a debate Whatever for Whatever is open okay. and in front of me. <laughs> I, I know, I know, Mike, but again, you're a savvy guy. The original, the tree, the pumpkins, or eggs. the eggs? Dude, I, I'm not savvy. I, that's the thing. He said I'm not savvy. I, I'm very simple. If any of those are in front of me, offered and opened, they will be consumed. <laughs> up. I don't care. Everybody's got an inner fat kid, huh? We that, do not care. <laughs> that's exactly right. The other thing I'd like to mention one more time, please subscribe to the OTP, the official Titans podcast. Yes, yes. If I'm going to be on the radio for eight hours over two days, i got to plug what I do. The OTP, wherever you get your podcast, go to TennesseeTitans.podcast or, again, anywhere you get your podcast, the OTP. TP. Remember, kids love the acronyms. Absolutely. Yes. I'll tell you what the adults need to love. It's your Twitter fingers and your mic is always hot. Tighten up, everybody. When the Titans make draft picks, we got you covered. We can already see what's getting ready to happen. April is NFL Draft Month on 104.5 The Zone. Masvidal and Usman put on the show the last time they stepped in the octagon, and round two is sure to pack a punch. DraftKings Sportsbook, the official betting partner of UFC, is putting you, that's right, you in the center of this weekend's title fight with 26 to 1 odds on either title contender to reign victorious. Pick either main event fighter to win during this weekend's UFC 261 title fight, and DraftKings Sportsbook will give you 26 to 1 odds. Just bet $5 on either fighter to win. And if they walk out with the belt, you would cash $130. 